Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast. Today we have Luke, get out, Bennett. Come on, let's go. How you doing, bro? I'm good, thank you. I'm excited for this one. You yeah, excited? I'm loving it. Yeah. You're, you're the first guest to ever like announce their arrival on the podcast. Come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no one normally does. I was literally scrolling TikTok this morning, and you literally popped up, and you're like, "Hey guys, today I'm going on the podcast with Simon and Randolph." And I was like, bro, "This is sick." <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time we've had publicity from it. Literally, man. Literally. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good, yeah. Excited for this. Yeah, good journey to the yeah. podcast. Yeah, easy enough journey, yeah. Uh, it's not too far for me, so yeah, nice easy one, enough journey. Nice First question um, is for people who don't know. Who are you? What do you do? So, my name's Luke Bennett. You might know me as uh, the Get Out Guy. Um, <laughs> a lot of people know me as that. He said it. Um, he said it. He said <laughs> it. <laughs> well, yeah, I think. Um, obviously, I'm on TikTok. Um, blew up there over the last couple of months. Um, and like people ask me like little questions like you guys probably seen some of it or Jeff like Kanto's in my fridge and I go Kanto what are you in my fridge get yeah, out um, and it started from there and it's just you know crazy. how hard it is for people that don't know you when I try to explain <laughs> who you <laughs> are <laughs> it's, it doesn't make sense he tells Kanto to get out of his fridge <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, go, you know he goes get out and they're like what do you mean what <laughs> yeah it's, you're doing really well with it though, obviously but I, I want to yeah, know really where, well. where did that come from like Obviously, you know, how, how did you get to a situation where someone did that? Did you start doing something like a little bit weird or did someone suggest that and you did that? Or did you actually find Kante in your fridge? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people blast that Kante is never in my fridge oh. yet. You never know <laughs> yeah, that. Maybe. Oh my God. Imagine. Oh bro, imagine <laughs> that TikTok. Bro. We got to get some like you actually brand. find a footballer in a fridge. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That would be class. Like Luke Bennett is sponsored by Coca-Cola and they, they fly out Kante. <laughs> or put him on a train. I don't have to be a plane, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> put him in, in your fridge. He's in, he's in Chelsea. He's yeah, Chelsea. true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah. So how, how did that how did that come about? Um, so I only started doing TikTok in January this year. Oh, so mad. when we went in the uh, last lockdown, mad. yeah. Um, I thought you know what I'm going to start posting on it because I. I used to be low confident to be honest, doing stuff like this. I would never this time last year. I would never think I'd be yeah, doing. Yeah. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it this time just to try and keep myself entertained through lockdown mm. and try and entertain others as well. And I was key on mental health as well to work on my own mental health. Yeah, yeah. To help others as well. So I just started doing little trending videos, and I think it was the end of February. The Q and A feature come on TikTok. Yeah. Um, and then I thought, you know, I'll just give this a go. I'll see what questions people ask me. And he started off simple ones, and then he started to come with football related ones. Yeah, yeah. And then someone asked me, what would you do if Kante's in your fridge? <laughs> Um, and I thought, <laughs> okay, this is a bit, um, yeah. I've never done this one, but like, and then I just, on the spot, yeah, in my yeah. kitchen, where most of my uh, TikToks are filmed, yeah. I just went, can't tell, we're doing my fridge, get out. And he started, and that got, um, I think it's on 1.4 million views now, that nice. video. So that was the very first one. Kante yeah. was the first one. Yeah. Which one did I hear first? It was Kante, Jamie, Jimmy Vardy? Jimmy yeah, Vardy? Jamie the Vardy one. Um, Martin Scott, paint my radiators, water my plants, I don't know if you've seen that one. Um, <laughs> that, that, one. That, that one's funny yeah. as well. Um, there's a few of us as well. That's have sick. you ever met any? F well, have you met any footballers um, since this, since TikTok? Has? I have had footballers message me. So, for instance, Harvey Elliott, oh, nice. Liverpool. He messaged me on Instagram. He originally followed me on TikTok first, yeah. and I was like, no way. Yeah. Harvey Elliott's following me. Um, and then when I was getting a lot of hype on TikTok, he dropped me a message saying, look, um, seeing obviously your recent TikToks, um, love, love your TikToks and that. Um, if you ever need to talk, I'm here for you. Um, and he's wow. like that that's meant really a lot sick. to me like i like that um i'm a big wolves fan as well mm -hmm. um so wolves have used my get out send on their official tiktok page it meant a lot to me <laughs> that's no. last, last season when we played west brom and i think there's saying get out to west brom stuff like that oh, was funny <laughs> um i remember that once i was at a game earlier this year i think it's a friendly game i was sitting in one of the stands people started a get out chant <laughs> oh and him, that's, that's amazing um, that's so that good it so was good. crazy and then him and and troy all right turned around and smiled so I suppose I know Sick, who yeah. I am in that. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy. I, I, it's crazy how just like, obviously TikTok this year has, has been massive. I think probably because of lockdown. I think yeah, a lot of other yeah. people as well have been thinking, you know, I might as well do something when I'm locked down um, to start start a new hobby or maybe something that could turn into something like like yours has turned into. Um, but do you think without lockdown you would have you'd have done this? No, no chance. Mm. I feel like there's a lot of negatives from what's happened in the last couple of years. But for me, one of the big positives He's kind of locked down in a way because if yeah. it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have the time to start doing videos like this. I remember I think in one day, I filmed over 100 videos in lockdown. That's crazy. Um, well, that, to be fair, that's one thing I noticed on your page. You, you post a lot, don't you? Yeah, like, yeah Obviously, yeah. you know, I, mean, I guess me and Simon. 100 videos. Yeah, man. It's meant, well, coming from our background, obviously, we're more like, um, you know, back in the day, well, you used to post like once every day, to be fair, or twice a day. But now it's like, especially <laughs> main channels, yes. like you'll post one video in, in a week, maybe, or two weeks. 
Because, you know, blah, right, blah, blah. On. Slay me more. No, no, no. Not slay you. I'm it's, yeah, it's a different yeah. style. Oh, I fell off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we would be like, oh, I can't post too much. Whereas you go for the, me- you know, mentality that's, that I'll just do loads. That's one, TikTok though, innit? And one will do well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because with TikTok, it's like short videos. Mm. So short and snappy videos, draw the viewers in. Whereas yeah. Because I think there's a three hour, uh, not three hour, uh, three minutes um, long video you can have now. And I don't really like to do that that much because people on TikTok want to see quick videos because when you're scrolling for you, page, yeah. it's like, yes, yes. And you see yeah. it. Um, so I'll try and keep my videos between 30 and 60 seconds long on average, unless yeah. it's like a longer one. Um, but it's very rarely I'll go over a minute. Well, I think on YouTube, you, you have to choose what you watch. Yeah, you? Yeah, Whereas yeah. on TikTok, you just get shown what you watch. So yeah. you, I guess if you make as much as you can, then one of them is going to be seen. You know, and, and Do you have a favourite video you've made? Um, oh, that's a tough one I've got. Probably one of my first Q&As, uh, can time my fridge, but, um, blew up and I remember because it was in lockdown so my hair was all over the place and everything, <laughs> you know, and I cut for ages or I got my mum to do because obviously everywhere was shut yeah. um, and I remember that and I'm just looking back at like doing that video and I still laugh at it tonight. I'm like, how did that, blo- like, how did that <laughs> blow up? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Such a weird question. I want to know what that person was going through that day as well, just to think like, oh, what would you do if Cantil's on your fridge? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. obviously now everyone asks, everyone asks, oh, yeah, what, yeah. what would you do if Salah's in your fridge? What yeah, would you do if, yeah. you know, blah, blah, blah. But the first, the first one to ask it is kind of Have crazy. you ever spoken to the person that asked the question? Not in person, no. But uh, like... Do you know him? No, no, he's never yeah. actually messaged me or I've not messaged him. Um, no. Because that, that person yeah. has literally that like person, yeah. sparked something. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if he knows even. Yeah, it must do. No, yeah. I mean, I mean, like, he, must, he must have known the, that video, but I wonder if like he knows what's happened since that video. Yeah, because he's watching early, early yeah, days. Yeah, 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 true. And now it's yeah, that yeah, that is wild. So, what do you do outside of TikTok? Um, so I'm currently at uni right okay. now. Um, I'm doing a football coaching performance degree because coaching's always what I've wanted to go into. Mm. I never thought social media <laughs> would go this <laughs> yeah. big in like less yeah. than a year. Like it's uh, for the position I'm in now, like. It takes people years to it. So then people ask me, how have you gone that big, that quick? And I feel through TikTok, because it shot up recently. Yeah. Um, that's gone like that. But there's a lot a lot of people ask me, how do you become big on social media? And there's no uh, there's no answer really. It's just, it happens. It's yeah, just yeah, one of them. Yeah. It can, out of the blue. Um, but obviously I'll do that. Um, coaching's obviously the main career. But like people have asked me, would you ever do social media full time? And back at the start of the year, I thought, this is never going to blow up. It's just going to yeah, be yeah. a hobby thing. But now because I earn money off it. I've got my own merch, stuff like that. Mm. So it's it's a decision I have to make very soon. And obviously getting opportunities like this is just crazy. Nice. Um, Thanks for coming on. You know. So it helps this isn't, this you know, this isn't a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, I, wish. <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> but but it, it can be for a lot of people, for yeah, sure. No, no, no. Um, when, when did you go from like, you, you spoke there about, you know, you might have to make a decision one day if it's, if it's going to be like your career or if it's going to be, you know, the, the coaching stuff. When, when do you... How, how are you managing it? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, how did you get into the position? It's it's quite busy at the minute um, because I'm at uni on yeah. a Monday and Tuesday at the minute. Like That's my timetable at the minute. But I try and go out um, like filming some TikToks out in public at least once a week. Um, I work as well, so I have a little part-time job as well. So yeah. I do that. Um, obviously doing other, like coming on podcasts, doing stuff like that, or mm-hmm. doing other collabs, playing yeah, yeah. charity games. I played in a couple of them. Yeah. Um, so it's, been, it's quite busy. Um, but I like it like that. Yeah. I like being busy. How is working, you said you have a part-time job right now. Yeah. How's working a part-time job when like people recognize you? It's crazy. So I work at, you guys probably heard of Goals before, haven't you? Yeah. The Goals mm-hmm. football place. Yeah, yeah. I work at the one by me. Um, and it's, it's crazy. People sometimes just come down just to come and see me. That's sick. Um, That's good business then from the, uh, you the, should tell some, the, like, the guys yeah. upstairs. Yeah. yeah. I need a raise. Get commission. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, I've had the CEO of Goals, so for the oh, whole wow. of the country, he sent me down a box of chocolates. Oh, you got to send some more than chocolate. that's yeah, that's no, nice. Yeah. But we, we, if you're watching this, gold CEO, we want something else. It was a black card. Yeah, yeah. A gold's black card. <laughs> yeah. Do you, wait, unless you have one and you're not allowed to say. Maybe he has one. No, he will say no. He's not allowed. Well, yeah. <laughs> when he says chocolates, he means you know he's got something like briefcase of a million dollars with a chocolate on top. Yeah. <laughs> top layer for you know you get two layers. Yeah. Top layer for no, a Russia, layer, yeah. bottom layer of cash. But that's sick though. That's really sick. And I guess. It's funny how, you know, I mean, I, I knew you're a football fan, obviously, because that's, that's why, you know, you, a lot of your content is related around, fo- around yeah. football. But the fact that you're also doing, you know, football at uni and also doing, um, you know, your work, that's kind of sick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I, guess, I guess a lot of the people who go, most people will know you there as well, because they obviously yeah, yeah, a lot of people. play football, you know, on TikTok. A lot of people, like, when I'll, I'll go there playing football with my mates sometimes as well, and I've got loads of, other, like, people from other pitches. Oh, can I come have a picture of you? Or oh, can we have a little game with you? Or oh, can you film, like, a penalty shootout or something like that? Yeah. And it's just crazy. Um, like, even when I'm just 
down there. People phone up. He's Luke there. He's Luke there. He's Luke there. I'm like, I don't leave down there. Um, and like they say, well, if he's not down there, I'm not coming down then. Or wow. some, I remember there once, I can't remember who told me, but someone told me once, I wasn't on shift. Yeah. Um, someone walked in, went to the reception, he's Luke there. No, they walked straight back out <laughs> because I wasn't there. <laughs> That's amazing. Did, did the uh, other staff get annoyed or did they, did they enjoy it as well? They enjoy it. Uh, yeah. my, my main gaffer, Adam, um, mm. he, he's funny. That. He's, um, you might have seen him on, he's done then. Um, like betting adverts, so he's a big wrestler. I don't know if you've seen the adverts on Sky Sports and that. Not sure. He's got a long beard. Okay. Um, he's been on Sky Sports, like the adverts and that. Yeah. Um, so he was like, if you want to class the famous person of goals, and yeah. then I've come in and I'll get recognised more than yeah, him. Yeah, you're, t- you're taking <laughs> the throne. <laughs> so I've um, you, you got to tell him to put you in an advert, you know, the goal advert. You got yeah, to put me in there instead. That'd be class. Yeah. So were you at uni before you started TikTok, or is this? No, I've only first. just recently started uni. Um, okay. So when obviously I first did TikTok, I was still in college. Um, and even when after the lockdown I went back to college obviously before obviously the lockdown no one really knew who I was at college apart from people in my group um, and a few other groups but when I went back it was like well this is great everyone's coming over to me so if we're in the sports or doing practical or something everyone's coming over to me mm-hmm. or watching me we had like um, windows at the top so people were watching when I was playing sports and that and it's, <laughs> it's crazy well you spoke about charity matches obviously you've been doing quite a few of those recently yeah. um, and the ones I've seen especially even the you know the one where because you were in the game where Ham got sent off didn't you yeah content yeah. Cup, yeah. What, what, what I loved when I was watching that stream is there are a lot of YouTubers and a lot of, a lot of big names in that in that event, but everyone was just coming to you, even on the yeah, commentary, yeah. the the crowd, everyone well, was just rushing so for many, you. I saw so many TikToks of like you walking out, and then people were literally being like, "Oh, like, can you do this? Can you do this? Yeah, can you yeah, do yeah. this?" And I mean, you did all of it. You seem like well, you seem like you did them all. So you seem like you were in good spirits, because I know yeah. a lot of people in those days are kind of like, hey, just, like get "Yeah, me on, get me on the pitch. Just yeah, let me play football. Yeah, how are those? How are the games and?" Um, is it like you know having fans watch watch you play football it's and stuff? um especially the first one i did match from mine we had a crowd of 750 there That's mad. um so like i've i've played football before and that um but like i've never played in a crowd that big yeah, yeah. and when you got people especially in that game Cal the dragon was there as well mm-hmm. um so a lot of people wanted me versus Cal the dragon and that <laughs> and in the second half because that game i was playing right back he was playing left wing so the second half we was on the same wing and we was in front of the mind stand as well. That's and it's just constantly people chanting your names and everything. <laughs> um, constantly. It's hard to focus sometimes and you got people like yeah. you know, stuff like that. And then after the game, they just bombarded the pitch. And Mad. I can see people coming towards them like, I'm going to either get clattered here. Yeah. Or well, people are coming up to have pictures of me, but like when you've got loads of phones, you're like, where, where do you look? Where do you look? Yeah, it's yeah. It's good crazy. that people are so respectful because obviously sometimes they, they can't, you know, have you ever, ever had like a running with a fan who's a bit um, of, a, of an annoying person? Or I've had the odd one and I've had to like tell them, look, if you're not going to show me respect, I'm not going to. Mm. And like I've had to walk off from them. Um, yeah, yeah. The, the craziest thing was probably when I was the Euro final, mm. um, when I was down Wembley and people recognised me a lot. And to be honest, people were going that crazy. They dragged me to the floor and I fell on some glass in the end. Um, I cut all my hand and um, I had to wrap it in like a top and that. And my mate had to literally grab my arm yeah. to try and get me out of the crowd out. and that. Yeah, because people great, constantly running up behind me. And Was that before the game or after the game? It was before the game. Okay, okay. So it could have been even worse after. I was going to say. Yeah, That's football fans are idiots, man. Mm. Well, well, football's a great sport, obviously, and you get a lot of great things like even you know you at the charity games, people knowing you, people go, like people going to see. You got to remember, people going to see, say you playing a charity game is good for the charity, it's good yeah, for the yeah, event, yeah, etc. Yeah. But obviously, with football, especially like you know football Twitter and other things, there's a lot of negative things yeah, in football. Yeah, yeah. But um, I guess hopefully it's getting better and better each each game, each you know each new year. How did you be Cal Dragon go? Um, yes. A lot of people want to claim that I had him in my back pocket. <laughs> Um, he didn't really get past me. He didn't really put any up because I wanted, because a lot of people come to see that, especially because yeah. they knew I was playing right, but he was playing left. It's the second half, we was up against each other on the same wing and people wanted me and him to proper go, but he weren't really coming at me that much. So like, I'm like, he's you. not gonna. Um, and then, I mean, my team won. So let's just, Mic drop. let's just say that. Mic drop. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think Luke's been quite modest there. I think, I think you bodied um, Cal the Dragon. It sounds like you had him in your back pocket. You want to pull that away, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even he didn't even come at you. How do you how do you like what what do you think about other people on TikTok like Cal the Dragon and stuff like that? Um because it's quite it's obviously not the same as what you do, but it's you know, it's TikTok content. <clears throat> yeah. I feel like they've blown up over lockdown as well. Like yeah. how what what's your thoughts about Um you- I, I respect the position they're in. Um, because they've got there for a reason. There is some things I don't agree with, especially with Cal. Um, like for, I'll, I'll saw it in person, and um, where he's like pushing people away. Like people come to see him, like pushing mm. people away. Um, for content creators, cup he backed out the day before, 
I mean, I believe it's not the first time he's done it in charity games either. Yeah. Um, or with Chris MD videos. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Um, Have that, cow. <laughs> Hold that. Yeah, we made a film a video and he pulled out the day before. That's not great. I'm definitely a fan of Vin FC more than Color Dragon FC. <laughs> <laughs> I support Vin United, man. <laughs> Have <laughs> you seen that? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, just... That was so weird. This podcast is sponsored by HBO Max. HBO Max has kept my streaming queue stocked all year with all kinds of amazing content. But one thing I'm especially excited about is all the new stuff that keeps coming down the pipe. Personally, I'm really excited for Dune. It's a new movie, new movie that I've not been able to see yet. So I'm going to be able to watch it on HBO Max. Uh, so I'm very, very excited about that. Why? You like sand? I like sand and I like space. Yep. All right. HBO Max has all your favorite titles available for streaming and they've got something for everyone with everything you love all in one place. Plus, you can download top titles to watch on your devices to go. Don't miss out on taking your entertainment game to the next level. HBO Max is a streaming home of over 13,000 hours of addictive series, blockbuster movies and exclusive originals. Start streaming on your favorite devices today. Sign up now at the link in the description, which is available down there. It's so weird, like seeing you in person, you know. I don't know why. Like, it was the same with... Um, Jack, 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 yeah, yeah. Jack Joseph, come on. Jack Joseph came on. It's just... Because obviously, you know, we get we get JJ on. Yeah. Like, I see him every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but people I've only ever seen on a screen. Yeah. It is weird. Well, I remember, I, I'm nervous for this one. I was nervous for Jack Joseph one. I'm not nervous for KSI one. Oh, it's because it's like... It's yeah, friends, isn't it? But no, it, it's, <laughs> it's crazy, really. It, that's why I love, I love TikTok. I love, especially, like, creators like yourself, because I think YouTube was a... Well, especially now, is a massive thing. So someone... When and I'm not, I'm not trying to say when we first started, but when a lot of people first started YouTube, it was just for the they're just creating videos, and then it and it, it organically became from yeah. them. Um, not saying that it doesn't anymore. You still have a lot of instances where creators, you know, grow and grow and grow. But I feel like TikTok definitely is a place that does it does put a highlight on people who are maybe who never would have done YouTube or never would have yeah. done this. But it, you know, it finds people if their content's good, you know, and, and that's what that's why I enjoy. So it's been cra crazy seeing you know even Cal to be fair, like there's people people like arriving on tiktok and just creating a career or yeah, a life yeah. from that it's, it's kind of crazy would you ever venture out into other like would you make youtube videos for um example? i have got a youtube channel um i i do like little vlogs um like i'll try and edit them myself but it's, yeah. it's hard finding the time like i'm in the process of trying to find natural editors to try and do my stuff for me so it takes mm -hmm. that off me um i mean a lot of people say well why don't you just why don't you follow just move over to tiktok to youtube it's not that easy once you're on one social media yeah. platform it's not as easy to go onto another one and um, where i feel like tiktok it's a lot easier to grow on than youtube mm -hmm. um yes. like on tiktok i've got two hundred seventy four thousand followers where youtube i've only just got over a thousand mm -hmm. and so a lot of people say well have you only got a thousand on youtube and that many and i'm like it's not as easy to transfer yeah. i do try and promote it but like more people are there to see that content not my youtube one but i have tried to do that um, I stream on Twitch as well, um, nice. so that, that's going that's going pretty decent to be honest. Um, yeah. It's shooting up recently um, because I'm doing it consistently as well. Mm -hmm. So I try and stream three to four times a week if I can. Yeah. Um, and I'm getting more and more people come on there as well. Um, what's good as well, but I am trying to grow on other social media platforms as well. Yeah. Um, but TikTok is my main one. Yeah, yeah, fair. I guess on, on TikTok it's very easy. Like they have the whole package of editing in the phone, yeah, don't you? Yeah, you can yeah. create the whole thing in the phone. Yeah. Whereas if you want to go on YouTube, you might have to then you know put your phone, your laptop, or whatever it may be. So I think TikTok's definitely organic. Do you post your TikToks on YouTube as shorts? Um, I was doing that for a time. Um, so I did like one little one. Um, one of my, like someone asked me a question, I used to put one of them on a night on YouTube. Yeah. And um, but I've stopped doing that recently because it weren't really getting as many views and there was decreasing over time okay, so yeah. i thought i'm not gonna i was still want to keep yeah. that content to tiktok and not just because obviously it's the same thing people yeah, yeah. want to see that on tiktok not what you should do is just, just wait so like <clears throat> if one does really well on tiktok like yeah. a lot better than the others then put that on there yeah, yeah i yeah. think for like, if it's done well there's probably a reason why it's done well yeah so it might not do very well on youtube but it, it could do if you yeah, yeah, give yeah, it a yeah. shot um you uh you, when, you, when you stream what, what games do you play you play a lot of fifa it's mainly fifa yeah yeah um so what i the way i do it is I'm a lot, I'm like one of these people, like I want to give back to my fans because if it wasn't for them, I would be in the mm. position I'm in. So I'll put a video out on a morning, say if I'm streaming on the night, and I'll put like, people can vote in the comments to so like, like it, and whichever yeah. one gets, so I'll do like, Ultimate Team, Career Mode, or Pro Clubs, most of them, they're the three main, mm -hmm. and whichever one gets like, top comment or the most liked comment, I'll stream that on the night. Yeah. So I'll check, so if I do like a 7 till 10 stream, I'll check at six o'clock and whichever one's got the top, I'll put a video out to put it on my socials. That's the mode I'm streaming. Mm. Um, and then I'll get people involved. So especially pro clubs, I'll try and I'll try and make it fair. So I try once I'm on a stream, I'll try and clear everyone out. And then when I come back on to do another pro club stream, the first 11, like 10 people 
come on, including myself, that's soup. and come in. Did, uh, did you chat with them on voice chat? Yeah, 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 that's I did jokes. voice chat as well. Um, there's, there's, there's been some uh, interesting things on there. That's that. <laughs> um, hard to trust people on that. <laughs> I bet they um, love that, though. I bet that everyone really enjoys yeah, playing yeah. with you. Um, when I do ultimate teams, so say if I do deep rivals, um, I get people to invite me, so I do like Div Rolls Cobb, started yeah, doing yeah, that. Sick, sick. Um, so I play with them, so like they, they feel like, oh no, why I'm playing with Luke Bennett and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but on your TikTok, you do a lot of rate my teams, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to rate my, can you rate my team? Go on then. <laughs> After you finish playing pro clubs with them, do you tell them to get out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sorry, I, I had to, I had to, I had to. Was... Get out. Do people ask you to say that all the time? All the time. I come in walking in the street, I have people beat past me or one the window and get out or pull up. Someone's pulled up beside me before, got out the car, asked me a question, I've asked it and then got back in the car and drove off. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got people driving past, like, what's going on oh, here? Man. Does, it, does it get like a bit sickening? Not sickening, what's the right word? Yeah, sickening. Um, I, mean, like, I don't do mind it when I'm on my own, but say if I'm out with my family or stuff like that, like it, it's it's a respect thing the way I look at it. So if I'm on my own, fair enough, come up to me. But if I'm out with my family, doing my own thing, I don't mind people coming up to me. But sometimes I've had people come up to me, oi, can you do this? Like you don't come up like yeah. that. You yeah, yeah. If you, you want to do that to someone else, like yeah. you want to do that to. Yeah. Um, you, want, you, want, you want to talk to them first like it's okay to do, you know say the quote because that's how they know you but if it's yeah, just yeah. that it's a little bit yeah can be, a, can be a little bit annoying i guess you really want them to rate your team right yeah now, right here's my team I'll, I'll send it to uh i'll send it to the edit for the podcast so you guys can see it as well um but, but check my team out let me know what you think look. keep in mind i've done that thing where you change your custom tactics so i've got kante up front yeah yeah, yeah. Well, you, oh you, you, yeah, you, yeah yeah you're yeah. a sweat that's what you're saying i haven't played what, one eight so. nine <laughs> jesus that's eight nine to be honest i've got hakimi yeah he's good did you get the one to watch? Yeah, I got him at the start of FIFA. He's got upgraded now. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so. I don't want to affect your rating of the team, by the way, but he spent a lot of money for that. I can, uh, I can imagine my. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's actually a good team. Um, Cheers. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> the amount you spent. <laughs> Lack of that up top. <laughs> and back out there. Okay. Oh, that's a good team. I mean, there's not really many suggestions I could give there. Damn um, I've, 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 I've passed the Luke Bennett check oh uh, yeah that's a good team so, yeah. and Bapo up front as well hike coming up against him with the yeah, pace he, he's, he's a sweat is he in form now he's got in form yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what the worrying thing is what? if there's nothing to change then it's it's just you you're just bad at the game <laughs> yeah I am, I am. <laughs> whenever you lose it's not the team the new season popped around some my mate got me into Div 2 because I was on holiday right and I had to get the challenges done your mate got you there yeah he got me into Div 2 and I, and I what couldn't what were you in I was in Div 3 I was in Div 4 he got me into Div 3 and Div 2 you in the five, aren't you? No, no, I was in the four, but I couldn't, <laughs> win, a game. I couldn't win a game in the two. No, I'll show, show Simon. You should see my team. I couldn't, I couldn't get out of the two. Um, I don't want to see his name. Okay, that well, makes me sick. Ronaldo there, look. Yeah. Have you got no? But none of these. I actually packed someone pretty good yesterday in my series. Who'd you get? Beckham. No. I, well, he's my series. You got better Beckham. I had an eighty-three player pick, so you know where you get yeah, three yeah, players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yo, I need a defender. Boom! Inform Van Dyke. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I didn't even know. Got in form. That's sick. Yeah. Damn. Damn. What uh, what console do you play clubs on? On PS5. Damn it. What? I play play Xbox. No one plays Xbox. Uh, yeah. Well, well, I get my PS5. I've got one. I need to set it up and then we'll, we'll play some FIFA. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. Clubs. I'm Definitely. down for that. If you've got like a if you've got like a club that you stay in and then go out when you do the other stuff with the guys. Yeah, yeah. Just... So I've got like someone else who's in there with me as well. He takes the manager role yeah, when yeah. I leave and then. So if I just want to play off streaming with my mates yeah, and that, yeah, I'll leave yeah. and then I'll keep that club specifically for when I'm streaming. Mm -hmm. This podcast is also sponsored by ExpressVPN. Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like leaving your laptop exposed at the coffee shop while you run to the bathroom. Most of the time you're probably fine, but what if one day you come out of the bathroom and your laptop is gone? Every time you connect to an unencrypted network, cafes, hotels, airports, any hacker on the same network can gain access to your personal data like passwords, financial details, everything. It doesn't take much techni technical knowledge to hack someone. No. Just cheap hardware is needed. A smart 12 year old could do it. Even John. Even John, Even John could, John do, could it. do it. And your data is valuable. Hackers can make up to $1,000 per person selling personal info on the dark web. So why mm. use ExpressVPN? Well, it has an encrypted tunnel, so it creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. Hackers can't steal your sensitive data. It's super secure. It would take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to get past ExpressVPN's encryption. It's easy to use. All you got to do is fire up the app. And as Simon and I enjoy the most, you got to click one button. That's it. Very easy. Yeah. <laughs> and it works on all your devices, phones, laptops, tablets, and more, so you can stay secure on the go. Do you reckon Josh is close to hacking 
a ExpressVPN. He's almost a billion. He years is old. almost a year. Yeah, he is. He could do he that. He is. Uh, but secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash what's good. That's E X P R E S S VPN.com slash what's good. And you can get an extra three months free at expressvpn.com slash what's good. So going back to the chariot matches, I had to write this one down. Yeah. Um, the one by one charity football match, 10th of April. Yeah. 2022. Yeah. So that's a long time in advance. That's like a. Yeah. Um, they only recently contacted me about it um, about two, three weeks ago. So I know, do you want to play in this charity game we've got going um, in April? And I said, like, yeah, I don't, I don't mind doing this because, you know, it's for, it's for a good cause as well. And it's like, I get to meet other creators as well. So especially doing the other two as well. I met other creators such as Aaron Hunt, people like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Reeves as well, who was there for the YouTube yeah. content script, like people like that. I watch a lot of you guys as well. Like being on this is crazy because I watch you guys as well, Ooh. and I've grew up watching you guys. And That's sick. Just meeting you guys is <laughs> it's just a real experience, really. That's fine. Um, it's sick. it's great hearing that as well because when when we're like you know thinking about what guests we want to get on the podcast, we're like, um, oh, let's, let's try and get like Jack on, let's get Luke on, but we're like, I'm not sure if they're gonna say yes or not. So when you're like, oh, I'm, I'm happy to be on, it's kind of nice. It's only about I'd say it's about a month ago or like a month, two months ago. We only started asking people because we were like, we don't want to. We don't want to ask people and they go, ah, I'm all right. We'll just ignore yeah, it. Yeah, well, Vic started turning us down and that, that hurt us. Oh, yeah, that's mm. us back. So since then, we've been on revenge mode and we're trying to get Thanks everyone Vic. on. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Vic Star. Yeah, not everyone knows. People are like, what, would you get Vic on? I'm like, I can't. It's quite complicated. We, we literally asked him. <laughs> we have asked him to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, have you been training for the match or anything? Um, I've been doing a little few things, yeah. Um, still got still got some time. Um, but just saying, play two charity games, won both of them, got 100% uh, win record at the minute. So. Jeez. Oh, sign them up. <laughs> sign them up. Just saying. You're a right back. I was playing right back in the first one and played in goal the second one. In goal? Yeah, I played in goal, yeah. What's... <laughs> yeah? I, I remember that. Did you, did you save a free kick? Um, oh, no, I think what happened was, I think someone's... You were in goal for the whole... Was it for the whole game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Um, so that game, we destroyed Team YouTube 8-3. <laughs> um, some, of the, some of their lads didn't turn up, but... They was giving it all the big in before the game. Right, right. Um, and then they're saying, oh, you got no chance, you got no chance in that. And we went and destroyed the match. That sounds like YouTube. Yeah, giving yeah. it, give it the mouth. Like what I saw, I saw someone take a free kick on your team and the keeper was awful. Oh, man, like me. <laughs> um, that's just, to be honest, I was a bit, dis like, I used to watch his content a bit and I'm a little bit disappointed with him because he said before the game, oh, they got Luke Benny in goal, any shot it'll go in. Um, and he backfired on him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because, he, because he did eight. <laughs> So let's just say that. Put eight past them. <laughs> that, that's why I like charity matches, you know, because even when you guys did like the Sidemen and All Stars one, like it's obviously it's for charity. It's it's not a serious game, but it is serious. Yeah. Everyone yeah. Takes oh, it serious. bro, the second one was <laughs> the most serious match I've played in a long time. Like yeah. we turned up at the, so we had like a hotel before it. We turn up and everyone on their team comes over to us and they're like, you set us up. Yeah. And we're yeah. like, what do you mean? And they were like, well, last year you won, what, 7 2 or whatever it was. Or, I can't remember what score, something yeah, like yeah. that. And they were like, you've done it again. You've given us a terrible team. Your team's amazing, blah, blah, blah. Then we lost 2-0. Yeah. And I was like, well, yeah, it's set up, isn't it? Yeah, Castro with the <laughs> But that, that game was so serious. Like a goal in the fourth minute and a goal in like the 85th minute. Yeah, yeah. Nothing in between. <laughs> yeah, I remember that game. I was, I was in Turkey at the time and watching it and I was like, um, this is actually like a close game. It's actually like a real game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, obviously, yeah. I, you know, you, you lost it 2-0, right? But I imagine, you know, you don't really necessarily care about the result as long as it's a good game. Yeah, but I'd during rather... that game though, I, mean, I reckon you guys are like, we have to score. We have to give the fans yeah. something to... Yeah. I would rather lose... 10-1, mm -mm. then lose 2-0 yeah. in yeah. a charity match. As long as it's, it's like, out. yeah, I, I want, like, ultimately, the fans just want to see goals. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so, yeah. And you, you sort of expect it in a charity game, don't you? You, yeah, you expect, expect, like, United, Chelsea, 1-1 one -one type of situation. Yeah. You expect it to be, like, goals galore. It's because it's, like, it's not meant to be a tense game. You're meant no. to see, like, yeah. you're there to watch, you know, you versus Cal the Dragon having, like, a battle. Yeah, yeah. You're meant to see yeah. Team YouTube v Team TikTok. It's not like a... No, not no. an FA Cup final. <laughs> <laughs> they actually get to go home no. and brag for the next year. Are there only like Twitch, Twitch like footballers? Actual footballers or? Or like Twitch, well, I'm saying there could be like a YouTube versus, there should be like a, 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 a social media cup of every platform, like TikTok versus Twitch versus YouTube versus Insta. Insta's not really one though, is it? Because I feel like no one creates mm. on Insta. You just, you just, you're yeah, on they it. all just have to stand still. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pose, yeah. Poses, yeah. Poses, yeah. 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 Oh man, that'd be decent though. Yeah, I actually want to stream football on Twitch. That'd be sick. That would be very sick. Yeah, it's just hard to do. It is hard. Yeah, yeah. Did you um? Oh, I forgot what I was gonna ask. Oh yeah, you know the the, the red card incident with Halal Ham. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, from where I was, because obviously I was the other side of the goal, so I couldn't, see it, yeah. I couldn't really see. But when I watched the highlights after, to be honest, 
Fifa Radix, he was he was going he was going for the ball and he did catch him in the I think it was his eye. Yeah. Or his face somewhere on his face. Um but like Fifa Radix sixteen year old kid, Alaham's a grown bloke. You don't go up to him and start yeah. pushing him in. It's a yeah. charity game. Yeah, you don't want to yeah. see a record, you don't want to see that. And then I don't know how true it is, but I got told this. He was going to wait at half time to have FIFA addicts like fight him at half time and security had to escort him out of the stadium. How true that is, I don't know, but that's what I got told. Rumours, yeah. Um, but I didn't see him after the game, so. Probably just left, yeah. I mean, he apologised at least, so that's good. But um, nah, that, that was funny because I, 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 that's actually what made me watch the game. So I, I didn't know it was on. I, I heard about it, yeah. but I didn't know it was on at that moment. And I saw on Twitter, Halal Ham, red card. And I'm thinking, what's going on? So I went on <laughs> to watch the game and I, I enjoyed it. I, yeah, I watched yeah. the rest of the game. You know, it was a lot of fun. Do you play football like. Elsewhere, not just like charity matches. Um, like Sunday league, do you play? I used to, but I'm more coaching now. Mm. Okay. Um, so I coach grassroots level, but I've started. I've recently started coaching an academy, so Warsaw by me, and they're only they're late too. So boys like in an academy setting now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like even even the kids in like the academies are like coming up to me. No, why? What are you doing here? What are you doing That's here? It, yeah. um, and they're coming up to me asking, "Oh, can I have a picture? Can I have a picture?" And like, I'm there. To, I'm meant to be coaching, but like after the game, they all come up to me and, <laughs> and swarm me. And That's good though. So I guess if you're coaching, if if you're someone that they look up to, they'll probably you yeah, know, yeah. learn more or be more willing to learn. If if they're you know, kids are always want to do nothing, don't they? Yeah, just want to play like you know. Foot, so is that the dream? Games. Is the dream like a coach? Coaching has always been the thing. What people have asked me, would you ever do social media full time? Um, at the minute, probably not yet, but it still could go. Or it's still increasing and going up and up mm. and up and more. Like you guys coming to call me on this, it's probably the biggest moment I've had since oh. starting. Uh, oh, it, that's <laughs> so nice. <laughs> um, so like getting opportunities like this, it could just keep going bigger and bigger and bigger. And like I said earlier, that's when I have to make a decision. Do I go social media? Do I go coaching? But I can incorporate both of them as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. through my coaching, I can, my social media can help. Mm. Like teams know me out there, footballers yeah, yeah. know me. So it's I can incorporate both of them together, yeah. essentially. If you had to choose tomorrow... You you can do social media and it'll it'll go well for the rest of your life, or you can coach and it'll go well, but you ha you can't do the other. Ah, oh. that's a tough question. Probably social media for the more experiences you could have. In the yeah, coaching. yeah, yeah. It does open a lot more like avenues of experiences. Yeah, but like you said, though, if you can do both for as yeah, long as yeah, you can, yeah. maybe you know you can incorporate both. So once, once you you know learn more at uni, etc., then you can use that to help you. You seem quite committed to uni, though, because I know we were going to do this podcast on a Monday. But you was like, I can't do it because I got uni, and then you were going to do the um. I think you mess. You said that you're going to do the hashtag game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so I was at uni. I was just, I was annoyed about that because I really wanted to go to that as well. Yeah. Um. But like, so uni, it's like. It's hard because, like, I can ask them, but they're not always guaranteed to allow me to have yeah, time sure. off. But if, if you're doing it, I feel like you've got you to yeah, do it as yeah, well, yeah. right? But so I'm, I've paid, like, not paid yet, but, like, when yeah, you're yeah. and you're paying, yeah. then you have to pay paying, it back. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, and anything. I'm happy to do anything. But <laughs> that, that, thing, that was on the Monday and the Tuesday. The only two days I'm actually on campus <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, like, on a Thursday or Friday, happily, but, like, it was a Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. That, that was was one a, of them. Did you tune into that a little bit? No, it was last Monday, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I was away. Mm. But I managed to, like, I loaded it loaded it up for, like, a minute or two. Yeah. And it looks it looks kind of good. Yeah. Like, obviously, I only I literally only saw a minute, mm. so I can't really judge it. Well, but it was, like, obviously, like, what was the score in, in the end? It was, like, 600 nil or something, right? Summer, summer long. I don't think it was 600 nil. No, 600 nil. Oh, sorry. No, 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 Like, 600, 600. But what I found funny is, um, obviously, there's no, no shame on or no hate on the event, but I saw a lot of people posting clips of them in the game. And I was like, well, you do know that like, a lot of these players have been playing for hours. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the defenders just stood there. That's, that was one of the things. I saw someone get the ball and just dribble around like five people. And yeah. I was like, I hope that they've been on for like four hours. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, they're yeah, not, not moving. Just... <laughs> no, not. Yeah, yeah. That was well, a great Ben event. Foster played in it. Yeah, Ben Foster yeah. was there, yeah. And now he's injured. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 everyone, everyone was out there saying this, that, was the, that was the reason why. And I think even like The Athletic, like a big, big football you know, um, magazine, said that or maybe uh, he got injured from the game but he said he got injured from training so you know that is what it is like, people, people like to now he's doing TikTok and he's doing YouTube yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah. people like to try and put the two together yeah. this is the reason why he's not playing in the game which is funny if that's the case but obviously it wasn't you know well I find it so weird because they'll always go to blame that yeah. like yeah, footballers yeah. whenever it, they do yeah. like a f YouTube video the majority of the time like Arthur, when we did the more Simon with Arteta yeah we literally had to ask them, like, double check, can he kick a ball? Mm, yeah, yeah. This is the manager. This ain't even a player. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, can he kick a ball? And they went once or twice just to demonstrate, but he can't really do the oh, drills. Wow, and wow. we were like, well, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's allowed to get injured. Yeah, true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a footballer, yeah. their entire job is 
kick a ball. Yeah, yeah. So and also as well with Ben Foster, like he's how old is he now? He's like 30, 39, right? He's been playing like football yeah, yeah, for he's, decades now. Yeah. Like I think he'll know himself what he can yeah, do. Yeah, he what knows he can't his body. Do. Like he yeah, knows of course. How far he can push it? Before yeah, he's a professional. Injured. He's not. He's not gonna. Yeah, if he thought you know the hashtag game for fifteen minutes would risk, it wouldn't. He wouldn't. He do wouldn't it. have gone then. Of course, no. you know. Of course. So you're a Wolves fan. Yeah. How's how's that? <laughs> um, recently been good the last couple of years. Um, what about five six years ago? When I was in League One. It was uh, yeah. But I've, I've been, been there, there from when I was yeah. in League <laughs> One, and now obviously a couple of years ago I was in the Europa League. Now mm-hmm. we're doing well again. Um, I'll try and go to as many games as I can. So I'm not a season ticket holder, but through my TikTok, it's helped me to be honest get tickets because it's. Do they ever invite you to the game? Um, they haven't specifically. Um, but I'm kind of a little bit disappointed because I've featured on their official TikTok. They've used my so the social media. Yeah, they know yeah, who yeah. I am. Give you, give you a never, game. Yeah. They've never gave me um, anything yet. So Wolves, if you're watching this. You know, come on. <laughs> well, uh, we'll text SX. Yeah. SX like, Yo. will get a ticket. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can do a feature with him on the halftime. Potentially. <laughs> I feel like this is like the first time there's not been a, like a big team supporter here. I know Wolves oh, are yeah, like, yeah. Well, good. You're a Forest fan. Yep. You're, 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 what, what, what are you saying then? Like right now, like there's no, there's no Arsenal, no Chelsea, no United. Yeah. So you're saying no. that it's, it's nice that someone's on the podcast who's not a big, you know, big top four fan, right? Yeah. I, I am one of them. What do you mean? I'm not a fan of the big four. Yeah, but someone else. All right. Like a <laughs> guest. You're here every time. Yeah, but I love Forrest, man. I feel like I get a bit of respect for that, no? Yeah, but I'm one of them. You're in the Prem now. Oh, true. Yeah, you know, you are. Well, yeah, we love little clubs. I we're not we're not a little <laughs> club. Don't do that. Now, nah, but you know what? You know what I saw recently? I saw Brighton fans. They were booing their players, weren't they? They were yeah, booing yeah, the team. Yeah. And then uh, the manager came out and said, like, Let, let's just remember what, what Brighton are. And they, they were in League One. They were struggling. They yeah, were almost, yeah, yeah. you know, not, not going to be a club anymore. And then now, I feel like a lot, sometimes a lot of players got, or a lot of fans got to realise, you know, we, we do, you're, I think you're one of them. What? You, you got to realise Leeds are in the Premier League now. I accept that. If you lose a game, you can't complain. I don't. No, nah, I see you put in the chat, Leeds stink. Uh, yeah, that doesn't mean I'm. That's not really complaining about like. Now you boo. I know you. I know for a fact you boo at half time. I've heard you. <laughs> I don't. Mm. I'm very happy with where we are. Yeah, but yeah. look, when your when your best striker Bamford is injured, mm-hmm. and you're not playing a striker. Yeah, that's no, true. I get it's, you. It's you. pretty hard to watch. Yeah, yeah. Like you're playing Dan James as your forward. Faster. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Hey, um, you know, don't forget where your roots are, Simon. Well, you, I'm just, I'm just double checking my stats. Yep, yep. Uh, Wolves, like Leeds, have a absolutely awful December. Yep. Um, our next four games are Liverpool, City, Brighton, then Chelsea. Well, then Watford and then Arsenal. Yeah, Watford and Arsenal. Yes. Yeah, so because Leeds have, I think we've got Brighton, and then after that, in the next four. I think we have Arsenal, not in this order, Arsenal, yeah. Chelsea, City, Liverpool. Oh, my word. Four games in a row. Oh, great. So both of us are going to have a terrible Christmas. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> They'll batter you as well. Like, no offense. Like, huh? th- those teams batter teams, you know. Or stink. No, nah. sorry. We have Brentford, not Brighton. We have okay. Brentford next. You'll be, you'll be all right. Arsenal, but then you, you got City, what? City, Chelsea, Liverpool, back to back. Yeah. I don't know what order, <laughs> but something we, like that. We've got and Liv- Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got Liverpool and then City back to back. We've got Liverpool this weekend and City the weekend after. How do you fancy the chances? I mean, if we were to talk, like, our last Norwich and Burnley both. Now, I was at the Burnley game yeah. um, on Wednesday and it was frustrating because these are teams we need to beat. Yeah, if we yeah. want to be challenging for Europe. Mm. These are the teams we need to beat. Um, but, I mean, if we were to beat them two teams, we would have been sitting fourth right now. Yeah. Well, I saw a stat. And I'm not sure what... Ha- obviously, we're, we're filming this. There was some games yesterday and this week, midweek. But before this game week, there was a stat where I think only four teams in the Premier League had a positive goal difference. And that was obviously City, um, Chelsea, Liverpool, and then West, West Ham. Ham. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but like, but those three had 20, didn't they? Yeah. Whereas, but Wolves had zero. Wolves, Wolves were one of the only teams sat on zero. Which is, which is, I mean, in a league where no one's got positive, yeah. zero is not bad. <laughs> yeah. Zero is pretty, yeah, pretty not, solid, you know? <sighs> Leeds are going to get relegated, aren't we? Nah, no way. Not, not with, not with I don't, I don't think Leeds will get relegated. I, I don't think you'll do as well as you did last season, but I, I can't, I can't say Leeds got, not on, I feel like Bielsa's yeah. got, he's got something up there to keep you up. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping we destroy Brentford because I feel like they can't beat a bad team. Brentford are struggling since they lost their keeper. Mm. No, but they, they do well against, if you look at, they've got something like, I don't know how many points they got. They've got like 15 points. Mm. They drew with Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. They like, they, uh, like they've beaten the top four teams basically, or mm. drawn with the top four teams, and they've lost. The, they've 
lost to Newcastle and Norwich. Yeah, and I think they're the yeah. <laughs> it seems a bit backwards. They're, they're also another one of the teams with a zero goal difference as well. Wait, Brentford. Really? Oh, yeah, well, I mean the Spurs beat them, so now it's negative two, I guess. But, oh. but football. this was also like a week ago we filmed this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just remember, to clear remember that because there's another game week. Let's go. Um, Did you fantasy football? Yeah, oh. I know. I've got my I've got my own um, fantasy. Oh, I'm in it. I think I'm in it. Are you? I think I'm in it. Oh, do you know what position you're in? <laughs> Don't know. I'm soft med. I'm in the league. I'm 74th. I'm yeah. Yeah. How many people? You got a lot of people in here as well. Over a thousand people. In yeah, yeah. I'm doing well. Over I'm a thousand well. people, and you're 74th. Ram, I've, this year I've been doing really well. That's actually really good. Yeah, I, f- I forgot to do my team this week though. No. Oh. Because it kick off was like six o'clock on a Tuesday or something. I just completely forgot. But um, as long as you you got Salah as captain, right? Yeah, yeah. As, right, as long right. as you put Salah as captain, captain, you'll be yeah. all right. <laughs> it just saves everyone. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is kind of random. Um, you're doing a uh, daily selfie on Instagram. Yeah. What? I love these selfies. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just thought like, I need to start uploading on Instagram a bit more. Um, and then since then, I've, I've been got close to thirty k on there. Now. Mm-hmm. Well, for Instagram, it's pretty decent, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, a good conversion rate as well. Um, yeah. And like, yeah, I just do, I do one of them, and then try and do like, so wherever I go filming, um, I take like little pictures and that, and then one of my mates edits and that, and then put some. And I think one of them got like eight k likes. What's yeah. pretty, pretty good do from, well. from my uh, thing anyway. You do uh, it for any reason other uh, than just to post more, or like, is it something that you're going to look back at in a year, two years, five years, ten years? Um, no, no, I'll just <laughs> it's, but yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> what, it's what I like about Luke. Luke just you just post content. Like, say me, I'm, I'm like, oh, I need to post on Instagram more, but I don't know what to make. You know, I overthink it. And you just put a picture smiling. Yeah, I just, <laughs> yeah I just, sometimes people like. Like sometimes my eyes are bloodshot and that. Some of the comments in there, I'm like, it's only because I've either I haven't had a lot of sleep or yeah. I've just woke up. But sometimes I do when I've just woke up. I don't know why it's on my mind when I first wake up. Just take a picture. Just take a picture of <laughs> <on> my Instagram. <laughs> like. That's jokes. That's jokes. No, I've got a friend of mine as well. To be fair, maybe later on I might get you to do the uh, the get out for my friend. Is that all right? Because he needs yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, No, no, no. You got. I've got to ask it. Do you it's know my um, friend? He's called uh, Randolph. <laughs> <laughs> His name's Andrew. Um, no, but you know, Dark, you know, Dark Five last the guy who does the uh, the Goku edits of Beerus and stuff. Yeah, he, he, he every day he's sending me your TikToks. He loves you, he loves you. Really? Yeah. Good. I'm after I'm after the uh, Dark Five last. Get out of my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> but um, nah, I, I love it, man. Are you a? Uh, sorry, I'm I'm literally just throwing out random topics. Now nah, right go now. for it, go for it. But it's everything that's coming out like soon. Yeah. Are you a Marvel fan? Mm, I was, but I can't. I haven't really watched much recently. I feel like even if you're not a Marvel fan, you're a Spider-Man fan though. Yeah, yeah, Everyone I love Spider-Man. Yeah, so you're excited for the yeah, new Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the new Spider-Man. Yeah, you're not just saying that. No, no, generally okay. I am looking forward to it because yeah. that is honestly I'm so excited. Um, yeah, sorry to change the subject again. You know, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting back to TikTok now. I'm fanboy now. My favorite TikToks are when you do the dances. No, oh, then one. Oh, I, I literally watched one this morning. Which one did you see? Uh, I don't know. Oh. I'm gonna be honest. You're, I, you're, you're not well versed in TikTok. Well, I'm not. Do you obviously you're not, you're not, the, you're not a dancer? The, Matt, the painting uh, Matt, uh, name's Maddie, but I'm calling this one. It that one this yeah. one, yeah, yeah. Did you do that one? Is that one? I've done, I think I've done that one. That yeah. came up. I'm pretty confident that one came up today. There's no name for these, but I, I, I saw the one you did where it's like uh, the Madison. sun goes down. I'm I'm also, yeah, I've done it on I've done it on the escalator in Tesco. What is that? <laughs> I saw that one too. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that one, yeah. If it's got over half a million views, that's just me going backwards on an escalator. There's a woman beyond, she looks around and then turns back and went, like, what's this guy doing? Well, and I'm see, just going like yeah. this. You see Ethan. Ethan did a uh, a, a TikTok from the side and obviously KSI flamed him for it. It was a bit of like a drunken. Have you seen that TikTok? Yeah, I've seen it, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a bit fruity, is not it? You can say it was a bit fruity. Yeah. But um obviously you you just do you just, you just meme them, right? You just do it to make fun of them. Yeah, yeah I see it's a lot. People ask me, like, I get paid to be an idiot on there, basically. <laughs> but it's right, though, because, like, I never thought I'd be doing dances in shops or, like, I've done one where I've jumped in a river before and that. Oh, I don't sick. know if you've seen that I haven't one. seen that one, no. no. It was like a bit like a canal thing. And, like, there was, well, I wasn't going to do it. And there's this bar yeah. opposite. And um, they offered, they said, oh, go on, do it. We'll give you a free drink and a free meal. So I did <laughs> well, it. if you just jump in? If I just jump in, yeah. That's true. Um, oh my God. How much practice do you put into the dance? Or do you um, it takes it takes a few attempts sometimes because I, I don't want it to be perfect, perfect, but I don't want to like. Uh, I think I did what my most viewed video is me doing. A, I don't know if you've seen it. Dance on a bus. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Top, two, two million views. That was only last month. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when I turn around, like the bus is moving, and he like we started doing it when he was weren't moving. And then he started moving. I turn around, <laughs> and then I go nearly falling. So I'm like that. <laughs> 
Um, and I think that's what people liked it, and that was only anyone fly. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think you definitely got to do more of those because that's really funny. Like, obviously, you see all these people on TikTok trying really hard, like you know, girls dancing, blah blah. Yeah, but then yeah, you just yeah. see Luke Bennett on there. It's, yours, yours, yeah. yours, yours, yours are better than theirs. <laughs> So were you just kind of like obviously the dancers are all trends? Yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. gonna just try and hit every like every trend that comes out? I, I try to, um, but like I did create my own dance. Oh yeah. Um, to one of the I can't remember what sound it was, and I was at an event. I don't know if you heard about Tokfest. Yeah, yeah. Um, no. I was at the NEC back no. in September, um, and someone actually come up to me and asked to film that dance with me. I did it all the way oh, before. Man. I was like, no way. Um, someone actually wanted to film it with me while I was there, and it was crazy. Yeah, tra- um, Transfer. Well, most most of the time I just go on the trends, but I have created my own to that, and a few people have actually used it and like duetted me or yeah, like, yeah. Sensi. What if the next trend, the dance trend, is something like WAP? <laughs> Are you doing it? <laughs> people have asked me this before. Probably not. No, I don't care. I might, maybe I might do it. Um, yeah. But I don't. <laughs> it's a bit uh, like uh, to, I've done. I've done cringy TikTok, so I don't think it would. Really, man. I've done proper cringy ones. I did one last night. I don't know if you've seen it with a ring light. Uh, no. It's proper trending on TikTok. So you put it behind and then you uh, like switch your lights off. You like stop it and then edit it out. And then you switch your lights and then you got your top off and then you pull it back up and you're like, it's dark. And then you pull the light up and it comes back over and it's proper. <laughs> it's weird. Have and you I'll, posted it yet? Yeah, I posted okay, it. I need to watch that one. Um, last can get, night. Can we get that up? Do yeah. we, need the, we don't need the sound, do we? No, no, no. Can we get that one up? Latest TikTok. Yeah, let, Luke's latest TikTok. Go, go, go to his TikTok. La- his latest night. ones. I think I posted this morning, but I filmed it last night. Yeah, yeah. Because I thought you need to do it in the dark to hear us. Yeah, he did. Aren't <laughs> we coming through the headset? <laughs> yes, we did. We might be the, yeah, we might be the delayed. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm a big fan. I mean, I, I know obviously this is something that you um you made a conscious decision to stop doing your live streams, right? Yeah. Because obviously you know the, I guess you first started doing the, the Q and A you know, yeah, Q and A yeah, feature, yeah, but yeah. they put the feature where you can actually ask questions on in video right yeah yeah so they can ask um in the comments and like i can like just go to a comment and like click the uh, option yeah to, yeah to do it in the video and yeah. then it comes up the question there and then i'm answering it what yeah. is this like this ain't what tiktok looks like when i go on it no uh, press press the top left one to make it full screen maybe the little green bit but yeah i okay. guess pe- people were taking advantage right because you, you 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 don't know what they're going to do on on no. video so i'll try to put a lot of trust yeah um into um people so people are coming on but then there's coming on being silly like yeah showing the horses stuff like that yeah I saw that one. which one of those is it um carry on that one there the 12.6k so the middle one yeah yeah that one yeah <laughs> you like do it behind your head and then you do it like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 that's what I mean <laughs> that's so good <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> I love your comments as well because most of your comments are just like look nice, nice no, mate, really like it. Yeah, Sometimes I just find I'm like love the video, mate. Keep it yeah, on. Yeah, Steady yeah. on, Luke. Go on, son. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Um, I'm sure you've had your fair share of like, hate comments and negative yeah, comments. Yeah, I've had it more a lot recently. Yeah, um, that's why I've had to stop my lives because people come on being silly and it did get my my account was permanently banned. Oh wow! It did yeah. get permanently banned. Yeah. Um, and it took me it took me a week to get it back, but I managed to get it back. But then I thought I'm going to have to stop my lives because it was because of that. I didn't realize yeah. it at first. But this is where. It frustrates me with TikTok because the guidelines are proper. I feel like on TikTok, the guidelines are proper strict compared to other social media platforms. Yeah, yeah. And like some of their videos, like they've got banned, but then when I've actually gone through the appeal process, I've realised, oh no, there's nothing wrong with this. And I put it back up, but they've still banned me. So yeah, they put my video yeah. back up, but they've still banned me for like three days. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't make sense to me. Well, I way. guess when you're when you're doing like live streams and stuff, you can control what you say, but you never know yeah, what someone's going to do. You don't someone, know what's, someone, sorry, yeah. if you accept someone and you don't know what's going to come on the screen. And like sometimes when I'm acting something out, they do stuff and I don't see it. And then when I come back, they're just that normal. Yeah. Um, so I don't know until after. And then someone clips it, put it on their TikTok and gets like 800k views. Yeah, but you yeah. get banned for it. Yeah, yeah I'll get banned for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's why I've had to stop doing them. And a lot of people saying, oh, can you bring your like every day in my Instagram message, everything. Oh, can you do lives? Can you do lives? Can you do lives? I'm like, there's a reason why I've stopped them because I can't miss my accounts getting banned. Yeah. Again. You don't do, what about lives without other people? I, I used to do them a lot. Um, and I am, I'm just taking a break from them at the minute because yeah. I used to them every night. And sometimes I've, sometimes when I've been at work till like two o'clock in the morning, I used to come back, do a live there and then record my videos, not go to bed till like four o'clock sometimes. And I was up at seven for coaching on the morning. Mm-hmm. So I've had to stop doing them because sometimes it's just too tiring. But I'm taking a break in the minute. I'm looking at returning with them probably in the new year yeah. or a different format. So probably not that format. Yeah, just trying to do them again, but without that question and yeah, answer yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I guess if you did it now, everyone will just do, ask for that anyway. Yeah, so yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe you can re- revive them, but... Um, yeah, that that's amazing. That TikTok. Yeah. 
I love it. What was the one you did where you was like, uh, you had a new haircut, right? You was like, can I get two? What, what, you, you had a, a light goal to get. Uh, two hundred k for a buzz cut. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And I don't know how many it's on now. I haven't checked it for a while. Yeah. Um, it's a big goal, wasn't it? You've you got, you got to set a big yeah, goal I'll to do something like that. My, my most liked video is 198k, so I okay. thought 200k is not too far off. If it's going to happen, it's got to be my most liked video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's why I set that. Um, I don't think it's going to reach it unless somehow it does, but I doubt it. You've got to do a um, new one. you got, you got to go bold for 200k. I reckon, I reckon that would hit it. If the thing is, it's TikTok. It literally just like depends. Yeah, it just depends. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. it gets in the algorithm, it hits it. <laughs> yeah, yes. I feel like the more the more shares it gets, the more TikTok push it out to an audience. Yeah. Then, well, That's I've heard the, the whole way. thing about the algorithm is based on the first. They put it out to a small group of yeah, people, yeah. and it's like if it if it gets like the longer retention it gets and the more likes and stuff it gets, then it will go to a bigger group, and then it will keep doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So the so if the first like, group first group of people don't like, just, respond well. It yeah. doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. This podcast is also sponsored by Manscaped. It's holiday season and you don't know what to get as a gift or a stocking stuffer. Well, today's sponsor, Manscaped, has the tools to guarantee you win this year's stocking stuffer or white elephant competition. Manscaped is the leader in men's below the waist grooming and they have served more than 4 million wet men worldwide. Sheesh. I almost said when. Wet men. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if my math is correct, that's almost 8 million balls. Oh. It's true. That is, that's, that's mad. amazing. Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com with code What's Good Podcast. Ho, 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 fellas. Naughty or nice is the season to perform. Tis the season. Tis the season to perform. That's a, that's a common Christmas phrase, bro. Tis the season to be jolly. <laughs> Manscaped's best selling product is the Performance Package 4.0, which is the very which is at the top of every man's wish list this year. Inside, you'll find their lawnmower body trimmer, the best trimmer on the market for your balls, butt, and body, and the Weed Whacker ear and nose hair trimmer. Let's not forget their famous liquid formulations, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner to maximize your ball hygiene routine. Get the Performance Package now to receive their two free gifts, the Manscaped boxes and the Shed Travel Bag. The Dad can't stop talking about this honestly is all josh talks about the <laughs> teens secretly buy this and the women will love you for it sam's mum will love you if you buy manscaped <laughs> now that she the, will she will buy it <laughs> she will right. these are our picks on the manscaped sure fire win stocking stuffers so number one uh, manscaped two-in-one shampoo and conditioner just launched kill two birds with one stone number two the manscaped cologne infused body wash Number three, Shears 2.0 Luxury 4-Piece Nail Kit. Number four, Crop Mops Ball Wipes for your stanky balls. And then number five, Manscaped's Signature Cologne. These formulations are all vegan, cruelty-free, dye-free, sulfate-free, and paraben-free, so you know their products are legit. Let's go. Make sure you hurry to their site to ensure these wild gifts show up before the holiday season. And while you're at it, get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com with the code What's Good Podcast. So whether this is for your partner, dad, brother, friend, get them something they will actually use and it's almost sure to get a laugh so guys get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with the code what's good podcast be the ballsiest gift giver this year with manscaped what do you want to what what do you want to do with tiktok what's your goal um because obviously you have to keep adapting and stuff yeah yeah like obviously my q a thing obviously my main peak if you want to peak like that it was probably march april mm. when that's when the kante ones come and yeah, the other ones yeah. and i was getting like over a million views um, I think some of them, I think one got a million views on the same nights, another one got 900k. Mm. Um, so like some nights I went to sleep, woke up the following morning, it gained like three, four hundred k through the night. That's sick. Um, what's crazy? Um, some days I was getting over like ten thousand followers on TikTok. Mm. It took me three months to get from, so it took me from January to about end of March to get yeah. to hundred k. Then it took me three weeks to go from hundred k to two hundred k. Nice. Um, what you're now? You're like two hundred and eighty k or something. Like something that. like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I still get followers, not as much, but like that's why I changed up to do a football content. Um, yeah. Obviously playing Chelsea games, well, that's helping uh, podcast stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's helping get it back up and because my lives, like, there's crazy numbers on some of my lives with people acting stupid. Yeah. Um, like, I was getting a lot of followers there, but because I've stopped them. It, it's like with TikTok, it's up, look, with any social media, it's always up and down, regardless what you do. But you're going to have that. Um, but like it's going, it's going up again now again, because mm -hmm. um, I'm doing like football related stuff. I go out filming each week, so it's not just the Q and A content. I try and do different content as well because yeah, yeah. people, if you do the same content constantly, people get bored of it after yeah. so long. So you've got to change it up. And I'm trying to think of different ways all the time of yeah. to keep growing on that, that. That's good. Though. That's good that you're actually acknowledging that and putting some thoughts into it. Yeah. I know um, it's very easy for you. You could, you could have easily didn't get out every day forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to grow doing that. No. Um, same with Jack as well, wasn't it? Jack was very conscious and like, oh, you know, he does the undercover fed. He's like, I can't keep doing that over and over again. I have to do something else yeah. to keep it going. Um, but yeah, 
Is there any TikTokers you like watch religiously kind of thing? Um, or like look up to or? I would probably, probably one of these. Um, it's like a family who I originally locked and that helped me get into it because I was just not for the Smithy family, don't you? Have, you oh, yeah, I've seen yeah. And recent their house got burnt down yeah, through social that. through uh, social media people. I think they were, I think it's either their street and animal address got leaked or something and people went there. Originally the set these these are kids. Nice. I think there's two kids. They originally wanted to only set the car on fire, oh, but wow. it led to the house and the, the pit that was in the house. They got out luckily, but they put loads of work into the house and that. Yeah, I saw oh, that I saw that the house and I never knew it was because of the address getting leaked. Yeah, though. yeah, it's crazy. I, I think it? it was. It was in one of their videos. I think it was. I don't. It was like the street name. Like that's wow. why I'm be, be careful. Like when people ask me where you're from, I don't give be my careful. specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you you never know there's what people can do. Like it only takes one, doesn't it? it only takes one yeah. weirdo. You know, you can, yeah, you can yeah. have people who put you know negative comments, hate comments out there, but for someone to actually go and do something like that, that's a different level. Yeah, so, um, it's just going from extreme to extreme. Yeah, I know that. No. No. Um, um, have you got any? Uh, have you got any New Year's resolutions? Obviously for yourself personally, but also I guess maybe for content. Um, as well. I mean, we're not far three hundred k. So yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's a big push to us for three hundred k by the end of the year. But if we can hit that potentially early next year, that'll be nice mm. on TikTok. Um, the next goal on Twitch is probably ten k. I think I'm on like seven or eight k now, so not far off. Yeah. YouTube, I'm only on. I think I'm close to two k on there, so we can maybe get to five k and see how that goes as well. But I try and. Like I said earlier, try and do it on other social medias as well. Just try and grow on them as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not it's not as easy because obviously once you're big on one social media platform, people know you're on there. They don't always look. So that's why I try and promote my other things as well. Yeah. On TikTok Maybe as well. on YouTube you could just do like vlogs. Like not, yeah, not even yeah. long ones. You could just use your phone. Just record yeah, yeah, yourself yeah. like sideways. Because that's the, that's the crazy part, isn't it? TikTok's it's, it's weird TikTok's how like... TikTok's that way. YouTube's <laughs> yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's crazy how that does actually make a big effect on things. When I, when I was growing up, right, everyone would be so mad at you if you filmed vertically. If you filmed like this, everyone's like, oh, you can't do that. Stop, stop, stop. Whereas now... That's the product. That's probably the pro- you know, most predominant way of filming because of TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's the way now, isn't it? No one, no one exists like us. YouTube no. lot. It's all about this. As soon as I see it this way, I'm like, okay, I got to sit down and watch it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. If, it's, if it's vertical, I can yeah, be like, yeah, okay, cool, yeah. I'll watch it in ten seconds or whatever. I'll see you some of the vlogs. Yeah, some of them. Yeah, nice, uh, nice. Oh, some of them have got okay views. Like, I think my most viewed one is like two, two point six k, two point eight k, something yeah. like that. What's I mean I got one point nine subscribers now. Yeah, did, that you, one, did you vlog this? Two point six Ks. Did up on shoot out at goals. Um, <laughs> nice. I love the title. Yeah, yeah. Can't <laughs> shoot out. It's free kicks with a few of my mates down goals yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I, the, 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 the title. I don't know what I, I realised after. That's uh, a, it is a great title. You got you got, you get send some send some tours. We'll help you some, some yeah. titles. But that's an honest title. Bosh. Did you vlog this? You should have vlogged this. Come into here. Yeah, I know. I should have. Yeah, we'll do we'll do some filming then after if you want. What's good logo in, but no, it's just sick. Oh, yeah, I have, I have actually got a vlog going. I've actually got okay, one. Okay, nice. Uh, nice. I've like, done it on my phone. I've been vlogging down. and Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Bang no. in. But yeah, that was my most 2.6k view. It's not too bad, to be honest. I think that was for me this summer. Mm. Um, and like, because I try and, you know, I do like match day vlogs as well. So when I'm there, I'd like people. So obviously, when I'm, at, when I'm at Wolves as well, I'm getting stopped all the time. Yeah, it, yeah. It's crazy. Like, even when I'm in the stands and that, people come to me at half time. Oh, you look, are you, the first, first thing they ask me, are you Luke Benny? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> they know I am, but they just want to make sure because there's some people out there look a spitting image. I mean, people have messaged me. Was you in like when the one someone asked me, was you in like Ipswich um, last <laughs> night or someone like? No, that no. wasn't me. <laughs> I don't know who you're speaking to. Some, yeah, yeah I, I get it as well. But sometimes the person who is you, who's not you, yeah. they go along with it. Did you yeah, see that? Yeah, Mason yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no, I haven't seen the Mason Mount one. I was oh. going to say there was a. Oh, who was it? There was someone recently who was going around saying that they are. Ah, oh, who was it? They were saying that they were them. They were saying that it was them and they were literally, I saw it all over TikTok and it was literally, they had like a like hundred pictures in one night. Chunks. It was the Chunks yeah, one. Yeah, the Chunks, yeah, you yeah, see that one? Yeah, yeah. 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 Chunks' yeah. one was mad. Everyone could call them Funks, right? Like fake Chunks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Chunks one. Yeah, and the, the Mason Mountain I saw was, uh, it was not really, it wasn't that, but someone, a fan goes up to him and says, oh, you're Mason Mountain, and you? And the guy's like, no, I'm not Mason Mountain. He's like, no, no, you are, you are. So I, after a while, it just says, yeah, sure. <laughs> sure I am, yeah. But, we um, had, um, so we went out, uh, I don't know, like a month ago now, mm. I was like, you know when we went, Cirque? Oh, yeah, 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 was, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it was Cirque. Yeah, after the meal. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a girl came up to me and was like, she was like, oh, look at this. And I was like, what, what am I looking at? She shows a picture and it's her and this, the most generic white guy ever. Like white blonde guy. <laughs> that's it. All it is, is he's white and that's, I'm white. And she that's thought it. that was you? She'd captioned it, just met Miniman from the Sidemen. 
and, and put you, it on her story. But did she know it was not, not you? No, she thought it was me. So when, when the she was only similarity you, is that we're white. And she was saying, we've met before. No, she showed me and went, I thought this was you. <laughs> until everyone on her comments yeah. was like, who the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> who, is this, who is this person? And then, yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was horrible. Yeah, yeah. That's and I jokes. get told I look like Frazy all the time as well. Yeah, so, yeah. Or, 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 yeah. Or vice versa as well, right? He gets a lot yeah. of that as well. With, with he doesn't you. actually get as much. More, I get more of him than he does me. That's weird. That's very, yeah. very weird. Um, so, Luke Bennett, man. Have you, so you get, you get recognised a lot? Yeah, um, quite a lot. Um, it, it's surreal because I never expect, like this time last year, I weren't, I was just on TikTok looking, just scrolling. <laughs> yeah, and now, and now they're scrolling. looking at you. And then no, people are looking at them just like, hey, like, how has this just happened? Like, I was, I used to be a low confident kid back in school and yeah. that, and like, like people come to me like, like from my old high school and they like, you always talked about it. It's like, yeah, you used to come here and that, but you used to, you used to never speak or you used to sit at the back of the house, just be quiet and everything. And like, no, they could like, Hey, was he doing all this? Like jumping in, he was doing dances like that. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess often, you know, people don't um, just because just because you're quiet doesn't mean you're not got a lot going on, or it doesn't mean you're not, um, you know, got, got yeah, you know, yeah, goals, yeah. hopes, so, and all that. I just see it as like you're not as comfortable in the situation you're in as you, yeah, can, you could be. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Yeah, like like say like even you know yourself or or whatever. When back in the day, you're not going to be out in public playing FIFA or like you're not yeah. going to be out there filming. No, just because you're not, just because you're quiet at school doesn't mean you've not got loads, no, so much no, stuff no. going on. You know, because like me and me and JJ weren't mm. confident people in school. Mm. Well, yeah, and, and yeah. I mean, look at JJ now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the most confident people we know, right? Yeah, it's crazy confident. But it's just, I think it's just that situation you're in. Yeah, you're kind of there, like I just. I'd rather just kind of get on with it. Yeah, that's why, that's why it's important not to judge people, right? And I guess that's why you're focusing a lot on the mental, mental yeah, health. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one key thing. Just to help me my mental health because obviously it was another lockdown and just talk about it again now. And I'm just yeah, like, they are. Yeah, I I hope not because like you know a lot of more stuff like going through like it, it'd be hard to do stuff. Yeah, um, if everywhere's shut and you can't go yeah. places, and I just hope it doesn't go to that route again. Um, fingers crossed it doesn't, but who knows what. Yeah, cause it, even though like a lot of people, as you said, like a lot of people have got memories of the first lockdown. Like maybe you wouldn't be doing what you're doing now if it wasn't for lockdown. But it doesn't still mean that we want another one. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, 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 that was that time and there's a time and a place for it. You know, it, it, it was created memories or this and that and the other. But no one wants it to happen. You know, yeah. it's just a byproduct of it. But um, do you still watch a lot of YouTube? Yeah, I still watch your videos. Like it's crazy. Still, just trying to get sit, like to talking now. with you guys now. <laughs> Even come like even I was like because I've done a few podcasts before and like this one is like it's a different level. Like you you yeah. guys that come on you guys have got millions and millions of followers. Like I'm only got two hundred k. Like I'm down here. You guys are up here. So it's, big, it's just it's crazy. It's big, you know you got to remember like oh, ego oh. is being fed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but you but like you've done it yourself. Though. Like, yeah, man's all just from Simon, JJ, and everyone. You know. Mine's just from JJ. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's, it's something you've done. You know you got you got you got cherish that. You know um, and keep keep growing it, keep building it and stuff. Them. Who uh, else do you watch? If, if um, you watch it, I watch obviously you guys are side men, cows, like everyone, JJ, everyone like that. Um, I don't think I also watch. There's a few others I watch on there. I can't be tough made, but I watch your video. <laughs> your videos are just class. Like I always watch them. I always, I always enjoy them. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And they're, they're funny <laughs> and enjoyable, and that's what a lot of people like, and that. Um, and that's what a lot of people say they like about me. And um, mm. like I don't, I don't like to big myself up a lot, but. Just going back to comparing to other creators, like I don't want to sound harsh on other creators, but I'm not going to mention names. But there's a few creators out there who I feel like they're in. It. I respect the position they're in, but like the way they push fans away or do stuff, yeah, or go on lives and have arguments. Like I'm not like that. Like if people want a picture, I'm happy to have a picture because I'm one of them who, if it wasn't for my fans and people, like that, I wouldn't be in the position mm. I'm in. So I like to give back to people. Um, but there is times when obviously you can't. Like, yeah, no, nah, you sound like you're a very down to earth person, very nice. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I, I, it, there are certain instances where people can get, you know, too yeah, in your yeah, face, whatever. Yeah. But obviously, mostly you seem like a very, very sick guy and just want to create content, you know? Do you have any opinion about people like HS Tiki Toki? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that kind of side of yeah, TikTok? Because yeah, yeah. I don't understand it. No. Like, fair enough. Do what you want. <laughs> I just don't get it. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I see it every now and then. And I'm just like, yeah, he's, what, what am I seeing? His content's a bit. <laughs> Again, I don't want to hate on other creators, but like, it's a bit like it confuses me sometimes. Just put it that way. Yeah, I guess. Um, the thing is with him that there's an audience for it, isn't it? They, yeah, they, yeah, they love what he does. So I'm not sure if that says a lot about society or um, or what. But he's got his, got his own lane. I mean, yeah, do your thing. You know, yeah. If, if it's working, do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but. 
<laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get what's going on. No. Well, I'm, I'm, have you, um, that's a weird one where he's like, people are chatting up his mum and he reads the chat up lines to his mum. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. It's, the thing is, I find myself watching it now and then though. Like, you know, I'm like, what's going on here? But I'll stick around. I'll watch it a few oh, minutes. Oh, yeah. So yeah, at, yeah. at the end of the day, it's probably interesting. Oh, con- there's literally, content. I don't mean any form of hate yeah, at yeah. all. Like, I just, it's the same. I mean, it's the same as, you know, like Minecraft YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I don't watch it. It's not for me. Bro, yeah, it's a different level, isn't it? But it's, you know, there was a thing today that was, uh, or there's there's a page where you can see like the top creators in the UK and yeah. other countries and stuff. And I saw like Tommy in it is second in the UK. He's like fourth in the US, sixth in Canada. Man, and I'm just like, it's Mr. Worldwide. Yeah. Not Pitbull. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy in it. He needs to take that crown. Yeah. Take yeah, that crown. Yeah. Nah, it's crazy. It's just that's what I like seeing. You know, Minecraft as well. Minecraft's gone gone absolutely insane. TikTok's gone insane as well. It's just um, right. I don't know how that's happened. <laughs> top ten UK vlogs. <laughs> PewDiePie, KSI, Mini Mincer. Sheesh. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that, not that one. That's yeah. not, I don't know where that's come from. <laughs> that's the, that's Simon's screenshot. He's like, oh, how did that end up on the podcast? But um, no, we, have you ever have you seen some of the podcasts before? Yeah, yeah, I watched your yeah, I watched yours. I remember was it the last one you did, and I saw you guys talking, and I saw you into doing my get out thing and that, and <laughs> the people were sending <laughs> you know, me content. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, why well, you have you seen what I mean? Who's done it? So I'm like, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen lots of people constantly sending it to me the same <laughs> thing, and like, so see, yeah, I've just... seen it. I'm going on it tomorrow. How about that? <laughs> yes. But we do a section where we do what's good. So you know, we go through ten things, and if you like it, you keep the light on. If you don't like it, we take it off. Um, you know, maybe, maybe we can see the mind of Luke Bennett, get to know you a little bit more outside of TikTok. You got some. I do, but we used them last time, so I'll have to go for these ones. Okay, sure, sure. Okay. Um, first one, I just always like to see an opinion on this. Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you that. like it? Yeah, you like yeah. it? I like Game of Thrones, yeah. I like that kind of stuff. You don't seem very confident that you like it. Yeah, honestly, I do. I, I haven't recently, before, the yeah. first lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's a new one coming out. Yeah, I've there's seen There's a prequel seen, coming yeah. out. Yeah. Do you watch a lot of TV? I try to, yeah. What's the, give me the best TV show ever. Oh, ever. Yeah. Oh. I'm not, it's not, it doesn't have to be like a final answer. So, you, you know, it can be one of the greatest TV shows. I'm just trying to judge your character based entirely. Yeah, I know decision. what you mean. I don't mind. Probably one, because it's around Christmas and it's always this time of year. I like watching I'm a Celebrity get me out of here. I like Sheesh. watching that. Okay. Um, you got cancelled. Did it get cancelled? Or it got like postponed? Yeah, yeah I think it's because of the storm. Yeah. yeah. It's because it's not in Australia now, is it? It's in Wales. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. The last series was in the Wales, last year in this year. It's in, it's in a castle. <laughs> it, wouldn't you be pissed? Yeah. If you're like, oh, yeah, you know, we're inviting you on to uh, I'm a Celebrity in Wales. <laughs> I, I'm guessing <laughs> it's probably because of bugs. COVID. Less bugs. Less bugs, less sharks, less. I mean, to be fair, yeah. Sharks. Sharks. <laughs> what? Less sharks. There's sharks in Australia. Oh, yeah. I remember all of those I'm a Celeb moments where they <laughs> bumped into a shark. You never know when a shark's kicking them out. Well, in the jungle. You never know. It <laughs> might, might be a deep puddle. There's just one shark in that one puddle. Um, mm. I can't believe that's in Wales. I guess close to COVID, but that's a bit disappointing. Yeah, it's, I don't think, especially this year, it's not as hyped up than last yeah. year. Like when it's in Australia, that's where it's, where it's always been. Mm. And obviously the last couple, it's nice that they can still get the show on, but like in Wales, it, it's cold. I know JJ asked it, didn't he, to go on in there well, a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon, that's a, do you reckon he would have been, um, do you reckon he should have accepted it or do you reckon he was smart to say no? Um personally I will, if I got offered I would go on it but like yeah. it, it depends on like the situation you're in currently and what's going on stuff true, like that true would you go on it no I wouldn't no, no way no, no I no. couldn't I hate snakes what's this shark, a, oh, a it's shark in a forest <laughs> it's a guy, a guy wearing a shark outfit <laughs> in a <forest>. brilliant <laughs> <laughs> okay um, next one uh, JJ's album all over the place I like that. I like that. See, I'm not. I'm not one of them who's into like that time. But like, I like the way he does it. Um, yeah. And what like, kind of, what kind of music it. do you listen to? Me. I, I listen to. I'm not spe- like a specific thing. I just listen to whatever. But like, when people send me stuff and like JJ, like I've always watched his stuff and do like you, have, you guys. And, do you have Spotify? Yeah, I have Spotify. Yeah. Have you done your rap yet? No, not yet. No. Can we get it live here? Oh. <laughs> Is it going to be embarrassing songs in here? Uh, I'll be honest. I'm not not that good at rapping, but no, 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 no. I just realised what you just yeah, go on. Yeah, the, you know the Spotify raps. You know how it shows you your oh, top, yeah, your yeah, top yeah, songs yeah, of the yeah. week. I just realised. I just realised what you guys just. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine we're like, yo, can you like, just yo rap? 
<laughs> nah, so if you go, if you got Spotify on your phone, yeah, yeah, yeah pull it up, pull it up. Okay, go for it, go for it. I should do. Yeah, and it tells you here. I'm oh, gonna get claimed. Joel, mute that. <laughs> <laughs> it tells you your favorite songs. I saw on here, right? Someone's was Hesky Time. You know, oh, it plays you a song, and someone had Hesky Time is the most listened to song. I did have Spotify on my phone. I don't know if because some of my stories. Sometimes I've had to delete some apps, but sometimes no I've had to delete apps and then. I've reinstalled them, but yeah, I must have okay. forgot to re -in. No worries, no worries. I don't know where it's... It looks like you were actually up to rapping, though. Like <laughs> yeah, like, oh, to, be fair, like, oh, to be fair, I'm not that like, great at rapping. Nah, nah, shut up. I'll realise what you said after. Oh. It's all good. I'll give you mine while Simon's gone. Let's see what we got. Top five. To be fair, I, I, I always say this. I listen to Apple, Apple Music more than I listen to Spotify. Uh, my top artists was Kanye West. My second one was Randolph. <laughs> 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 but I just promise it's just because I'm listening to the, the mix, you know. 50 Cent, third, KSI, fourth, or, and then fifth, Jay-Z. There we go, that's my one. But I, I got a friend, the, the same friend I was talking to you, Doc Five last, you know, he's, a, he's a, a gamer, he likes to play Warzone, blah, 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 but he's a, his top five was like Doja Cat, <laughs> <laughs> Dua Lipa. <laughs> he, he likes his, uh, likes his pop music, uh, but um, no. He's not got the app, oh. deleted it. Have you, what, what's your uh, rap? Basically just Juice World, Kid Leroy. My, as I was saying to, to Luke, man's Kanye West, Randolph, 50 Cent, KSI, Jay-Z. Your second place on your own. Yeah, but I've, as I said- Yeah, let me guess, it's to learn your set list. Yeah, to learn yeah, set list, just listen is. to the masters, you know, gotta make sure it's mixed All properly. year, yeah. Yeah. All year. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Gotta to listen to the, what? Make sure the quality is okay of it, you know? On Spotify, have to, it's already up. <laughs> I have to re-upload it, you know? <laughs> um, okay, next one, sushi. Nah, well, I don't like sushi. You don't like sushi? I don't, I'm not really a type of I used to be like, like you. I don't. <laughs> Simon doesn't like sushi, he just likes- Wait, know. wait, wait, what? Go on, what? You just like avocado wrapped up. I go to a sushi place now out of choice. I like okay, sushi. Okay, okay, okay. But he doesn't like fish. Do you like fish? No, I'm not a particularly big fan, no. <sighs> now what? Not, huh? fi not, not fish and <laughs> chips from the- from No, the I, don't, I don't mind that, but like, if you go with like- Like a raw salmon. No, oh, no. It's weird. so nice. You're all weird. You're all weird. How is it a delicacy? It's nice. How, how's, how's... What? Your mum a delicacy, you know? She's we not. <laughs> Wait, she is. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, mum. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Um, spiders. I'm okay with them. I am okay with them. I thought that was like a guaranteed light off. Well, so you see a spider, you're like, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, you're, I'm you're, not... My mum's like, if she's a spider, she like, or she gets like me to like, oh, can you go in the bathroom and get rid of that? I'm, I'm not bothered. Get out. Get, uh, yeah, spider, get out. <laughs> it just crawls across the floor. Just obeys you. How do you get rid of them? Because um, uh, I'm over. not going to I'd, I'd kill them. I'd kill them if nah, I Nah, cup there, right? Put a cup there, put a piece of paper underneath it and throw it out. Throw it where? Outside. Oh, I don't do that. Oh uh, yeah, I have a step on it. <laughs> <laughs> step on it, get some uh, toilet roll or something, pick it up, put it down the toilet. That's me. It away. That's what I do. That's cruel. No, but I, I okay, I'm, I'm sick of like, Tali, for example. Yeah, yeah. She hates spiders. Okay. She sees a spider, she starts screaming, she can't be in the room until I get rid of it. Right. But I'm not allowed to kill it. That's not fair. That is not fair. But you could just put it in a cup, like I said. I could so could she? True. She's if you're scared. if you're scared. if you're you know hiring me as your spider remover, <laughs> <laughs> I have my methods. To be fair, you, you, yeah, you, if you if you ask them something else, you got to allow them to do whatever exactly. they, they choose. I, she I, I should leave that. the room, and whatever happens, happens. Yeah, I see that. I see that. The spider makes it out. It makes it out. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't. Mm. Formula One. I'm not. I don't really watch it that much. Really, I'm not really um, a big watcher. I used to watch it quite a lot. Um, but obviously, I, I don't really watch it. No, not really. No. I love it. I, 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 well, that's right. Sorry, <laughs> let me change. I don't love it. I like it a lot, but I, I can't <laughs> find myself watching the whole thing. No, I, I feel can like see clips, it, highlights, fine. The way it goes as well, like how long it can go on for, and like obviously with the laps, it's just over and over, and, and that's what I just don't <laughs> find yeah. that entertaining. Yeah. I don't know. Do you watch any other sports except? Um, it's mainly football. I watch. Um, I don't mind a bit of tennis. So when Wimbledon's on, I don't mind watching that. Mm -hmm. um, when the, obviously when the Olympics on, I watch all that stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but main, mainly football. I'm, yeah, I've always, I grew up with football. I've yeah, always, yeah, yeah. Football's always been my main thing. Isn't it? That was weird. The next one was Olympics. Oh. <laughs> but well, I, I feel like idea. you've answered that one. No, no, no that's me. That's yeah, that's me. Yeah. No, 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 no. No worries, no worries, no worries. Uh, water parks. Oh, that's an interesting one. I used to love them, but mm. now. I'm I'm a bit 
more. I don't mind. I will go down them. Yeah, yeah. But like, if it's like a massive one, I'm a bit like You're scared. Yeah, like, but like, I don't mind going on like big rides, stuff like that, and the high ones. But like water park, I don't know. I'm yeah, I think with, with like roller coasters, you're strapped in, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. There's something weird about when you're on a water park. Like you could just fly out. Yeah, yeah. I know you, you mean. could. I've, yeah, seen, yeah. I've seen clips of people falling out. I've seen clips of people. Um, it's that one clip where one guy goes up a up a water slide and he holds on to the end and he goes back down. He gets smashed his back into the corner of the thing. But uh, you seen that one, John? Yeah, me and John are cultured. I love John. You've just agreed with John. I know. I love him. Me and John, uh, what a great guy. What's can happened? You, can you put the la- Can you put John on the next one? Okay, uh, John. Wow. Uh, Starbucks. I'm, um, well, I'm not really a coffee drinker. I feel like you you, you go for energy drinks. Yeah. What's your your favorite energy drink? I don't mind uh, Boost. Ooh. I like Boost. 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 Yeah. A lot of people say that. Yeah. But yeah. That was like what? Boost. That caught me off guard. Yeah. I feel like we got we got Monster. We got we got Red Bull. But Boost. That's like going. What's your favorite drink? And someone saying Vimto. (laughs) Vimto bangs though. That's a great drink. I don't mind it. What? You're telling me you go to a shop, you're buying a Vimto. I'll, I'll pick up a Vimto. Still Vimto. Cap. What? No. Cap. There's no chance you're going, you're seeing a whole shelf of things. And you're every, I'm not saying my first choice is always Vimto, but I'll go for a little Vimto. Now and then. I don't think I've ever had a boost. No. 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 I've had the chocolate bar. I've had. Are they the same company? No, I haven't. They're I've the... bought the chocolate bar just to say, got the boost, boys, <laughs> and I've never actually eaten it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, nah, I mean I like I like Monster. I like um, Rockstar. I mean, decent. The final one, uh, gifts for birthdays. Do you like receiving gifts? What just in general? Well, like on your birthday. Do yeah. you like having a birthday where it's like you know everyone buys you big presents? It's yeah, I, I, obviously no, because I'm getting older. It's more just like money and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I guess. Where does that? Yeah, Links. I used to love it. Links Africa. Yeah, <laughs> you always have one for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> always, always. Um, but yeah, obviously when you were younger, you used to always love opening them. Um, but no, I just like receive money, stuff like that mainly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I love, I still, even if I get something big, I'm still, like, even I'm getting older now, I still like, you know, you, you still buzzed, if you yeah, know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. still when. I think when you, you, get, when you get older, like birthdays, Christmases, you more enjoy it, spending time with family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. Rather than just a gift. When you're yeah. a kid, you're like, I don't want to spend time with mom, I want my PlayStation. Whereas now it's like. Yeah, you literally can't wait to open the presents so you can just go to the other room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just plug it in and not yeah, have to talk yeah. to anyone. You got any plans for Christmas? Um, fingers crossed, everything's normal as it is. We usually go down my nan's Christmas day, mm. um, so we all go down there um, at Christmas lunch and stuff like that. Um, and then we usually, it's a tradition, what we've always done, we usually go down on uh, Boxing Day as well, for mm-hmm. like a curry. Yeah, but, yeah. But I don't like curry. Do you not? No. Hold on, right, we need to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like curry? I don't like what's curry. Your, what's your go-to takeaway? Um, Chinese? No, it's going to be it's gonna be pizza, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, pizza, yeah. yeah. And it's going to be... Domino's. Yeah. yeah. What? No, nah, Papa John's. No. Nah. No. Nah. Ever since I moved to London, Papa John's is the way. Depends what you want. If, if I a want pizza. like, if I want, nah, but if I want like a filthy pizza, Domino's. Nah, if you want a filthy pizza, you go to the takeaways. You, you don't nah, even nah, go to any they're big not, ones. They're, go not to pizza. The... they're not pizza. Nah, that's exactly. It's no, 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 but grease. if I'm like, if I'm like, oh, I want a takeaway pizza, Domino's. Yeah. If I'm like, I want a takeaway, I kind of fancy pizza, but I don't want to, I don't want to feel like I'm eating as much of a takeaway. Papa John's. Making me want to get a pizza now. I had one the other day. Mm. And it was, it, I felt like shit after. You should I make, you should make like a shit. pizza for a video. Have you done that before? Probably not. Give you a video, give you a video idea there. Is it? Yeah, making pizza with Talia. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> one out of 10, million views. Just try that one, I'll invoice you later. Okay, what if, what if it's not one? What if it doesn't hit a million views? If it doesn't hit a million views, you have to do a Pokemon pack opening naked. <laughs> do I have to show me naked or do I have to just do it naked it's a, I can do it naked and just show the top down camera <laughs> just really close up on your face yeah. hey, God, top down we'll camera come back. that might get your lap no nah, it won't do, won't do. No, <laughs> no, my, my, desk, my desk is very um, yeah. okay well uh, that's the what's good section I want to ask you 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 watch a lot of YouTube uh, have you seen that Deji has uploaded a recent video I haven't seen that, no. So are you up to date with all of like, do you follow the boxing, YouTube boxing side of stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that. Deji uploaded a video, it was only yesterday, so I'm not surprised you haven't seen it because it was, it came out literally last night. Mm-hmm. Uh, he uploaded a video called Redemption. It's literally just a quick video, a uh, minute and a half or something like that, of him showing that he's training boxing. Yeah. 
So him and Gibb have both said they have a boxing announcement. Yeah. What do you reckon? Because I don't think they can fight each other. Well, I don't know. Because a lot of people that we know as well in our chat, that I would assume know what the announcement is going to be, don't either. I don't know. They didn't might say that. Because I think Harry knows because of Gibb. Yeah, but Harry's not messaging though, is he? Harry's not going to tell us. No. I don't think JJ knows. No. So but sound like the end of Deji's video is him outside of Wembley. Mm-hmm. It has it literally has the Wembley arch thing, yeah, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. So the, I, I feel like there's a reason that's there. It's either UK versus US or it's at Wembley. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. Can't not be right. That'd be a really awful, awful like clickbait. Where he just randomly shot a Wembley. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. From all of you guys. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but now nah, yeah, I think I think uh, to be fair, I, I don't know what it is about. I, I see Gib like quote tweeting Deji as well, saying like eyes. I'm not sure they can't be fighting together, but maybe they're on the same card. Obviously, I think they're the same card. Yeah, yeah. I reckon yeah, Gib versus Austin McBroom. Oh, that would be that would be massive. Did you watch the last event? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. So you saw Gib get a draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah saw right. Austin beat up Bryce. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. That was very good. Yeah. See Deji, and then we also have Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury, and we've asked everyone who do you think is going to win. I think Jack Paul's gonna do him. Who do you who do you want to win though? I do. I want. I think Jack Paul and I do want him to win. To yeah. be honest, I want him. I can't see that as well. Do you like Jake Paul or just you just want him to win? I don't. I don't mind him, but I feel like he's gonna do him. I reckon. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Just think, it's just, he he wouldn't take the fight if he didn't know he could win. Well, every time I see like Jake Paul's TikToks as well, you see in the comments and everyone's like, "Oh, Jake's funny now. I like Jake now." So I feel like he's. I feel like he's. He's like winning over people but I don't think that's a good thing for him because I think he fits better being like the villain nah people like him but they still want to see him get knocked out oh yeah I, I want, yeah, I'd like Jake to win but if he gets knocked out I'm also going to be like that's yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Nice stuff I still want to see how far he can take it yeah, yeah. like I would love for Jake Paul to fight Canelo mm, massive. <laughs> I would love to see that fight yeah. he'll get battered yeah in that one, yeah, for sure for sure the scenes if a YouTuber who started boxing two years ago yeah in within three years fights Canelo. Yeah. Well, that, you know, like, how dumb that is. Like I was saying with Leon, like, when I was watching VT and that, he's the top build on VT. There's like actual fights. Fighters have been working their entire life to get to this position and now it's like, oh, you know, they're fighting this weekend. Then you got, then the big, the big one, Jake Paul. I'm like, how's that happened? But um, would you ever fight if anyone uh, approached you? I mean, there's been, there's, but there's a clip thing about me and Cal the Dragon. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> and people are constantly asking me, call him out, call him out. So I did. Yeah. I called him out, but he didn't respond to me. It took him three weeks, and then I got told he didn't direct time. I got told someone told someone to yeah. tell me yeah. that he didn't want to fight me. Oh wow! So, would you, so do, would, would you actually fight him if he was up for it? Yeah, that's got to happen, man. What I was gonna say though, if anyone approaches you who is like a dead company and it's not actually real, don't go for it. Because no, no. I feel like a lot of people well, out there. Well, or go for it, but get paid sorry yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. there's too many point. too many stories of people not being paid because a fight fights. is different than a charity match isn't it like it can be a there can be a charity match and there's a fight and you, know, you gotta make sure you're but I, I would love to see you um not call out a lot of people said that yeah yeah i was just calling them out yeah is it on live you did it on live yeah, i did it on live someone asked me it was, it was the last the last thing as well when i was just about to end my life yeah see that uh, that would scare me you know because it's it's one of them ones where you've been asked on a live yeah. you have to literally say it there and then yeah. like you can't, can't you know with up. a video i can sit there and go <laughs> okay do i actually want to do this do i want to call someone out yeah on a live you just go would i fight cow the- yeah i'll fight cow the dragon and now it's there you'll be like oh, cow the dragon says yes you're fighting bro <laughs> you're probably mess up as well you're probably like oh dal the kragan i'm gonna fight you <laughs> thanks wait what <laughs> Sorry. Nah, I'm, I'm down to see that. You know, Luke Bennett versus Carl Dragon, make it happen. Oh, I'd watch that. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Did you see, uh, I'm just talking hot topics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Beast's video, by any chance. The Squid Game. Did you watch Squid Game? Yeah, I've seen Squid Game, Jay. I've seen that, yeah. So he uploaded a video, 25 minute long. It was good, wasn't it? It's really good. It was good. There's 100 million views in yeah, four it's days. It's crazy. That's unbelievable, that is. Yeah. Well, I remember seeing a stat of the actual show did 100. 38 million views in like five weeks. And he got more, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That video is insane. Yeah. 142 million now. Mental. 11, 11 million 11 likes. million likes. And zero dislikes. Wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he did it really well. Like, I mean, you know, when I, when I first heard it, he was going to recreate it, I was like, oh, cool. It's probably going to be like a decent recreation, but it's actually very, very good. Like, it's, it's so good. It looks almost, it looks the same as the show. It yeah. kind of pisses me off that it's only 25 minutes. Yeah, he could have yeah, made yeah, it. Yeah, because have. this is so much effort. For but what I liked about this video, video, though, is he kept it YouTube still. 
Like he very e he very easily could have made it too high budget, too well done, if that makes sense. But it still felt like a YouTube video. Just yeah. smart. It's still, you know, the intro's there. He's still in it. His mates are still in it. It's still fast paced as well. Yeah, yeah. Which is like, really... he doesn't, he doesn't spend ages. Like this one, for example, the the bridge. Yeah. He could have easily had it as like, that could be 20 minutes building up all this tension of yeah. someone jumping, etc. Yeah. I'd love to do Squid Game, you know. Yeah. Not real, obviously. I, don't I, I mean, I wonder if he's going to, do you reckon he, he's going to keep this set or is it like a one thing done, gone? Well, we were talking about how he really, like, surely he filmed two. Yeah. Like, when you've got... Because this set isn't going to be there the whole time, I don't think. No, right? no, no, no. I actually found this video, the behind the scenes, more interesting. Yeah, I saw honest. how they did, they did the um, the black screen where they kind of, like, instead of using the blue screen, they went for the black curtains and stuff and they projected it on there. Very, very interesting. Although I was live streaming when it came out mm. and there's a bit where the tug of war... Yeah. ...where they make it look like they're 100 feet in the air or whatever. So they're not, yeah. And I said on stream, I was like, this is sick effects. And they went, no, it's real. And I went, what do you mean it's real? And they went, they're actually that high up. Oh, uh, and you no. knew they weren't. Well, I'm saying like, bro, there's, they're not locked in or anything. No, the yeah. health no, and no, safety yeah. issues yeah, you, there. Yeah, you think, yeah. Even the show on Squid Game wasn't yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's a lie. It's a show. <laughs> like that, like you're telling me that they're going to just be pulling a rope and it, say they get pulled off the end and accidentally slip to the left or right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're falling to their death. They're dead, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. It's not, there's going to be like something there, like a mat or something. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. There's going to be something if they're... Oh, I saw TikTok. Sorry, not, what? I was just saying TikTok. Uh, Squid Game was a well, I can intertwine it with TikTok. It got big on TikTok, didn't it? There's a lot of yeah, trends I, going um, around. Those trends. I did. I did the actual thing. So you know, with the cookie and that. Yeah, I <laughs> did that. And so I got an actual green top. Oh man! I had, and I had because obviously my name's Louis Two O One. So I had my number is Two O One on there. <laughs> I did in the, um, a local town stage by me. I did in the middle of the standing. Yeah. I was on like the floor and that. It's in the middle of a town centre. People walking past. Made just with a thing with a cookie and then just falling to the floor and everything. <laughs> so you failed? Yeah, yeah I failed, failed yeah. I did, I did like hard. that. Um, mm -hmm. I, br I broke the cookie and then I'm like, I drop in like that and then be like, seriously, and then I'm just like, like that. I've seen, I didn't actually go like that because if I bought my head, so yeah, we clicked yeah, it yeah. and then put like the clips together so I'm just like on the floor. Like, well, it, it got big on TikTok that. as a trend, but yeah, it, yeah. it's been on Netflix for ages. So the, the season yeah. two is nearly out. Really? Yeah, because it's, it's, yeah. it wasn't, it's been out for ages, Squid Game, but it got big and it got traction. So they made it on front page, they have new graphics and stuff to make it bigger again. But yeah, sorry, there's a teaser trailer. I'm not going to lie, I, uh, I kind of didn't want there to be a second season. Well, it, I, I liked it. Yeah, yeah I liked yeah, it, but yeah, it was yeah. more of like a, um, it wasn't necessarily like a crazy drama or a crazy good show. It was just like a new, something new that I thought yeah. was cool, trending. Like, yeah. but, but yeah. What, like, are they, they still have to play the, the yeah, Squid the, Game, the, the right? Yeah, the pink hair guys got revenge, man. It's getting revenge on everyone. Yeah, but they have to play Squid Game. Got, you got to be in it to win it. But as in, they can't redo Squid Game, the actual part. Like, I don't want to watch, I don't want to watch another dramatic They'll probably do war. different, uh, different, I, 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 yeah, I don't know. I might adapt to like certain things, but yeah. like. Yeah, we might find still, out more about the guys yeah. in the masks and stuff like that. Yeah. Backstories. Yeah. I don't know. I felt like it could have ended and it would have been gone down in the yeah. in history. But money. Money always mm. exists. Money over everything. I want to go back to something because I feel like we just brushed past it. Okay. The takeaway. <laughs> so you don't really like curry. Bless you. Yeah, yeah, you don't like curry. Do you like Chinese? Do you um, like Chinese? You didn't say that. I, d I don't like. I don't like the actual curry, but I don't mind like egg fried rice stuff like egg that. Fried rice. Nando's. I'm not a massive fan. Of Nando's. A lot. Of, I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm not a massive fan. I'm not a massive fan. Um, I'm not really like spicy. I'm not really into spicy like. Fair. Yeah. yeah stuff a little like lemon herb. Bro, I I don't want to tell you too much information, but I had the other day some ramen noodles. I have some spicy ones, chili. And your arsehole was on fire the next on day. On fire, <laughs> bro. I was like, well, something's wrong. I, f I was really cold. I was like, something's really cold. So I went for a nap, woke up, still cold. I went, went, went to the toilet and I was like, right, it's, this is why. <laughs> <laughs> these, chili, these, chili, these chili ramen's gone, sent me crazy. I had Nando's yesterday. They do gravy now. Nando's do gravy? Peri Peri gravy. Delicious. Oh my, I'm, I'm having some. Amazing. Because to be fair, oh, it's, KFC. End podcast. I got a <laughs> 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 That's sick. Oh, we were speaking before the podcast. We went to McDonald's before. It's got some nuggets. I said, "Did you try the, the festive burger?" I said no. But I was saying, me and Simon. I don't know what those. It's just like uh, just festive. Oh. Me and Simon love the uh, the KFC burger. Oh, little, little, that one, little yeah. gravy though. You need. Do you like gravy? Yeah, I like gravy. You need to. Oh my god, this is. It might be the best burger I've ever had in yeah. my life. It's I don't a, think I'll ever live up to it now. No. But the one time was amazing. The second time I had it, it was good. But the first time. I'm gonna make a request to you lot at sides. Okay. Can you make hash browns? Where you can 
I can I can put a request in. Yeah, because hash browns are sides. It's true. And I love hash brown. So good. Do you like hash browns? I don't, yeah, I like hash browns. So yeah. good, man. But anyway, the KFC burger is the is it's the burger. Okay, well, if you're American, it's the sandwich, chicken sandwich. Sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> with the chicken, but it's got hash brown with a with a little rivet in it. And the rivet's important because you pour the gravy in there and it settles. Oh, so good. Honestly, it's oh. Oh no, side sando is better. Just so. You know what? It's really good. <laughs> I, 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 I was I was surprised at that burger. So so good. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll have that soon. Yeah. You. Yeah. And then you can you can try sides. Yeah. Try some sides. Yeah. Because yeah. it is it is actually amazing. Mm -hmm. Me and JJ. You know what? So I was watching the Leeds game. Yeah. Finally got to order sides. It's the first time JJ's like he literally picked up his his meal. Started walking back towards his room and was like, oh, oh, I'll sit out here. Oh, you came back and ate it with you. You came back and ate How it with nice. me. Oh, nice. That's so lovely. But I, I literally said like, you're right. Because <laughs> he doesn't ever do that. No, no. He's a, he's a very- He's, he's very like straight fair, back to his room. It's weird as, yeah, as, as, as crazy as like JJ is and as extroverted he is, he's also, I mean, he's at home. He's a very introverted guy, isn't he? He just stays in his room in his pants playing Overwatch. Or used to. Speaking of people not being what they expected, was there anyone that you've met that wasn't as you expected. Either better or worse. Reeve, what a dick. Was Reeve a dick? Um, He's been a dick to us. I feel like, I think Screw he, Reeve. especially that game, I think he expected fans to be there to cheer him on, mm. but he was there to, for me. <laughs> and I think he was a bit <laughs> Damn Reeve. Get wrecked, Reeve. Reeve, get wrecked. Damn Reeve. Uh, <laughs> and um, after the game, like when the pitch invaded, they all come over to me. Mm. People going up to him, but they all come swarm me. Yeah. And I think there was a bit of like, I saw him look over a few times and like, not give me dirty look, but like say, I'm, I'm meant to be the big star here, not mm -mm. damn I mean? Reeve. Well, I guess, I guess also Reeve ain't got fans. That's why. Well, they lost, didn't they? Yeah, they, they he's, got, he's a good flip four. They player. didn't just lose; they got battered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn! We, is, is there a, is there a version two of that? Um, is, um, is there I a mean, TikTok for YouTube too? Well, there, there probably will be, mm -hmm. uh, and they want to try and get some bigger names as well. Um, but yeah, but we'll do the, we'll, I, regardless I, what happens, I, reckon, I know I'm team YouTube, obviously, but I reckon TikTok's going to take a crown again. There's, some, there's a lot of TikTok players that are very good. Yeah, uh, you've got um, Zane. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. a really good player. Yeah. Um, I mean, he got most of our goals. Um, to be honest, their, their keeper was uh, questionable. Let's put it that way. He went. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was good as Luke Bennett. Um, are you playing in the um, Clash of Creators? Uh, I haven't been an end to that, but I'll, I'll, I want to, I want to be there somehow, mm -hmm. involved somehow. In um, talks. I've been speaking, um, you know, Callum who's like one of yeah, the... Yeah, yeah. I'll speak, like I met him at Talk Fest and I'll speak to him quite a lot and he said he'll sort me something. So I'll be there one way or another, whether yeah, I'm playing or play. I feel like there's so many matches I can't keep there up. There are so many matches, yeah. So many games, right? I mean, it's good. Mm, yeah, yeah. Because ultimately they're all charity. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's good. <laughs> Just like, someone's like, oh yeah, this game. Like I, I've seen, I've seen a picture with Chunks' face on too many times. Yeah, Chunks is from playing every... Chunks in every yeah, single one. Yeah. Yeah. And then Sharky posts a goal every single, like yeah. every week. He's yeah. like, oh yeah, played charity match this weekend. I'm like, yeah. I didn't even know there was one. I'm out it's, of the loop. Yeah, yeah, you're a boomer. I'm a boomer. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, is there anything you want to bring up? Anything you want to like promote? Anything you want to plug on the podcast? Um, I mean, I have, I'm hoping, depending on when this goes out, my new merch should Sheesh. be out. It'll be out next Wednesday. Um, I'm hoping it should be out maybe by then. Yeah. Um, but I've had a few issues with the uh, website, but my, my, uh, that old, but like my previous merch drops, there's still out, and yeah. there's discounts going on as well. So it's in my link tree. And um, also, you guys might have seen, um, I'm on the Frills app now. So if you guys got personalized videos, personalized messages, um, just put your requests in there. Um, and with them, I will, it'll come through, it comes through as a message. So I'll see it straight away. Whereas if you send it like a request on a DM or in the comments, I might not see it. So yeah, if you do it on there, that. you're guaranteed it straight away. And I've had a few Christmas requests and that. Um, so go and check that out. What's the app? Well. Is it tr Trills? Frills. Oh, Thrills. Okay, Thrills. Thrills. Yeah. Got you, got you. My final question then mm -hmm. uh, is where do you see yourself or where do you want to be in five years? I like asking the future question. Oh, yeah. right. that's, that's a good one, that is. Um, I mean, originally I didn't think I would go big on social media, but mm. the way I'm going to it now, like getting all these opportunities, traveling around different places, uh, meeting like people who I've looked up to for years, like you guys, um, you know, like, I feel like the way things are going, if social media keeps growing the way it is, I might turn towards that Yeah. Um, more. And who knows? Obviously, next goal is 300k, then 500k, a million. If Sheesh. I could, any, if I, if I could hit a million. You can get to a million. Us, yeah. If I could hit a million. What you got to do, you got, you got to find, like, go through your TikTok, see which ones are doing well, and yeah. just copy them. You know, not, yeah. not the same, obviously, thing, but just do. A lot of people said that, like, really, like, 
create your most viewed videos, but like with a twist. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. But yeah, we, that, that's the dream, just to get to that million or get the verified tick next to my name. That'd be sick, yeah, yeah. Um, well, yeah. hopefully everyone out there can help that mm. become possible. So make sure you check out all of his links in the description Go down below. Um, that's it from us. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And peace. Peace.